Toto to yan. Hello everyone, thank you for joining Today we saw parents, principals from different schools in including high schools trying to get to PolyU. Now people on the streets still resisting the oppression of the police and the government. Again, the images we're seeing are from Jordan and Team Sachoy, and I believe all the things are other areas around Hongham. Hongham is where the Polytechnic University is located.
So for those of you who don't know what happened in the past few days, in, in, in the last week or so, the police has been assaulting and sieging different universities in Hong Kong. And on the 12th of November, a, like a, a huge attack occurred in uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong. The police fired tear gas, rubber bullets and others. They were they found over 2,300. They, they, the police fired over 2,300 rounds of tear gas inside a university campus against students. Basically trying to kill the students by over exp exposing them to tear gas. Of course, journalists, the, the school staff, doctors, medics, all were in the imminent threat of the overexposure to tear gas. Now, yesterday, the police also sieged um, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. They sieged almost for almost for 20 hours, I believe. And uh, until 5.30, uh, they, they just, with the armored vehicles and the water cannon trucks, they pushed past through the lines of freedom fighters who were fending off the police for so many hours. And at 5.30, they rampaged inside the, the school and they brutally attacked children, basically. These freedom fighters, these brave uh, students who were protecting their campus, protecting other people from the constant abuses and human rights violations of the Hong Kong police. In Hong Kong, if you get arrested for protesting, you will be taken to a detention center and you will be tortured. You will be... In, there's cases of rapes, many instances of rape, sexual assault, torture. Even a, a, a young girl who got pregnant after being gang raped by the police in Chun Wan and she had to have an abortion. This is all well documented, you can find the information. The police has basically become criminals and the students who you see fighting against them are actually self-defending the city they're self-defending their their friends other students other people of the city And, um, well, why the school was under siege by the police yesterday. Other freedom fighters and people, just regular residents, came out to the streets to help, to try to distract the police. Uh, some reports were saying that there was around 2,000 police in riot gear around the school. And they had every exit closed. The police said that they were able to leave. They were telling, all right, you have to leave the school. There, here's a way for you to leave and when like medics and, and students were leaving then the massive arrests occurred including the, the medics and the reporters were being arrested handcuffed laying on the ground sitting on the ground and um, the people came out from their houses to try to distract the police try to, to thin out the police who were uh, sieging the university campus. I have the live streams, yesterday live stream, in my YouTube channel. So if you go to the, the videos tab in my channel, you can see by yourself on the live videos what I'm talking about.
yes these videos are happening right now to so now the time in Hong Kong is 8 20 so also today a lot of parents and principals from different uh, schools and many other people came uh, they tried to do something about the what was happening in, in, in Poliu they were trying to get close to the campus they were trying to to help basically I will show you more videos and information about the parents and the principals uh, in a while I need to gather the videos and um, but right now what we're seeing is in sectors very close to Hong Ham, like Yao Mate, Jordan, Tim Sa Joy, these 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 places are very close to the university. We see uh, more resistance by the people against this tyrannical regime and the police.
Hey everyone. I I am receiving information that the police were transporting the arrested the arrested people on the MTR trains. Um, I just want to apologize in advance that I sometimes might not speak a lot maybe today uh, I think today I will like most of the time leave you with the images unless I am um, providing additional information Ugly China said that hunger strike would be a method. Uh, there has been people in the past few mo months, including elderly, going on hunger strike, and uh, the government absolutely did not care at all of all the hunger strikes. Um, they don't care, they wouldn't do anything, and they didn't do anything, unfortunately.
Right now, the locations we are seeing, the locations we are seeing mainly are near here, near Hongham, where the Polytechnic University is located. Jordan, here, Yaomate. I think also things were happening in, in Wampo around this area. Team Sachoy, basically all around Hongham, where people were trying to to go help and assist the people in Poly. Oh, 
For those of you who don't know much about what is going on right now and what we're seeing, I will try to summarize it in two or three sentences. The government is taking away and ignoring and violating the rights of the people of Hong Kong. The people of Hong Kong had had countless and some of the largest demonstrations in history of the world and were completely ignored by the government and even met with lots of police brutality and mobs and mafias brutality that are sponsored by the police. After more than five months that these people in Hong Kong have no option left but to protect themselves and fight against the police brutality and the use of force. I hope you don't mind me showing videos be besides the besides what we're seeing live stream. So for example, last night there is this video where the police were using ambulances. And after that, uh, I believe that's the location where they fired. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk about that. Let me check. Let me check out the, the story well, and I will I will show it to you, and I will share it with you. Here is uh, another example of how the police is treating people. Please pay attention. Stomping someone on the head while while being dragged by by paramilitary and, and this is just one of thousands of similar cases or and even worst cases and not only if you're demonstrating but just regular people on their cars are victims of the uncontrolled behavior They, they have, we have seen them constantly dragging people out of their vehicles, beating them up and arresting them, even when they do nothing. Until now, there hasn't been a single instance when the high ranks of the police admit that there was an excessive use of force by the riot police. And I need to add that more and more dead bodies are being found around the city. And the police just quickly discarding the, the cases. Even though the, 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 the bodies are, are harmed, some of them look like frozen. Uh, sometimes there's no blood around the body, even though it had like a chopped foot or a chopped hand. No, 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 no blood around those bodies. The police is just saying that those are just normal suicide cases and that there is nothing to investigate. 
also the gangsters and the triads have full support by the government and by the police to attack, like stab uh, and gang up against citizens and people who are pro-democracy. Until now, after five months of peaceful demonstrations demanding that the government implements the independent investigation on the police, Carrie Lam, her administration and the police, they all refuse to let us have an independent investigation. They said that there's already mechanisms in place that are for investigating the police. However, the current mechanisms the only thing they do is create reports that then they submit to the Hong Kong police so that the Hong Kong police can take action based on that. And the Hong Kong police, from the lowest ranks to the, the commanders and the, and the higher ranks, the superintendents and everyone, are corrupted. They are corrupt, they are protecting their own backs, and they are not willing to admit that there is a single case of excessive use of force. Lamb Fox, thank you so much. Here is a video of these lame triads ganging up and getting ready to go out to beat uh, citizens. These triads in white t-shirts in many occasions have come out to stab people, beat people with iron rods. Um, they even show their faces, they don't mind because they know that the police will not arrest it and indeed they do not get arrested. Please search about the 21st of July terrorist attack in Yunlong. Even though the triads, the gangsters in white t-shirts were beating people indiscriminately and the police received over 2,000 calls. The police, the only thing they did near that area was to close down, shut down the two closest police stations, even though police stations are supposed to work 24 hours. Wait, here seems that so someone's being arrested. They're pointing gun that Wait, they're pointing their guns at reporters, bystanders, while people are trying to, to, to film record what is going on here I will I will show the I will show the video of the of the people being um, forced, the the people forced in the train. Noam Chalaski, I will show it. Every time I see someone being arrested my heart aches because I know that in the police stations and in the detention centers they will torture these people they will beat these people up they will sexually assault or even rape these people 
as it has happened so many times already. I will show you the video of the train after things calm down a little bit here on the screen. So now that we see them just keep firing, like my point here is that they are using, overusing their guns, even in situations that are not suitable, like just when there are residents, journalists, when no one is threatening anyone, they keep using their weapons. Uh, they're saying that now they're they're like coming over here down the down the bridge under the bridge. This is in Simsa Choi East. You can see that people are actually inside this, the shops just still trying to eat or anything and no one is actually being threatened by the, by the demonstrators, the freedom fighters on the street. That's how you know who the real criminals are, the police, 
are the ones that whenever they appear, everyone, including the people inside the restaurants, run away in fear and feel threatened. Right now, all those people inside the shops, they're just people just walking around, just trying to carry on with their lives, some of them. They can perfectly do that near the freedom fighters, but not near the police. I got the, the video about the uh, people being forced on the trains. I'm going to show it right now. All these people, these, these students, young people arrested and being taken handcuffed and being taken into trains. With the assistance of the MTR staff. Yes, the police is even arresting nurses, doctors, uh, reporters everyone that they just feel like arresting I are getting arrested illegally in most cases illegal arrests illegal stop and searches excessive beat excess excessive use of force excessive use of tear gas in crowded cities where there is residents children elderly pregnant women on the in the flats nearby in Hong Kong, every apartment is so small and so close to each other that whenever you use a tear gas, the percentage of collateral damage is orders of magnitude higher than those that the, the police was supposedly aiming at.
please allow me to share the link of the video where they're taking the those people on the trains here's the link if anyone can that's from a website so if anyone can download the video like remove the clip download the clip encode it or whatever and and send it around please spread it the police are saying that they are denying taking people onto trains if they are denying that they are taking people onto trains i can only imagine what kind of of things are waiting for those people i don't want to imagine it but there may be even the chance they're going to take them to china where we know human rights are just non-existent Rebecca Keys, uh, thank you. I'll, I'm sending you the. I will send it again in the live chat. The link. The link I said about the video, uh, it has a photo, but underneath has a like a yellow bar. You have to click on that yellow bar, and it will show the video. By the way, guys, we have a bot in the moderators. Um, so it, messages that have too many capital letters are automatically deleted. Uh, it's just to keep the, the, the live chat more easy, uh, readable, all right? So if you submit a message in, in, I see a lot of messages, for example, free Hong Kong and things like that in full capital letters are getting deleted. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your message, and uh, please try to send your messages without the use of capital letters. Thank you so much.
Marcus Raycat, Ma Ma Marcus Rakiat. Unfortunately, yes. Someone asked if there is any PolyU uh, live stream available right now here. I can't see any. This is what I'm looking at right now. And I'm like every now and then changing live streams to different sources. And I still haven't seen anything from, from directly from PolyU. But all these resistant fronts that we see right now on the screen are in areas very near Hongham, which is where the PolyU is located. Humberto Cueva de la O, thank you very much for your generous contribution. I just want to remind everyone, all these could be avoided if the government just said, all right, we are going to uh, establish the independent investigation on the police. Just we need just we, we need just an independent investigation on the police. They re remove the overuse of police units on the streets. And I, I assure you that nothing would be going on right now on the streets. People would be able to try to 
to find a peaceful way to resolve what is happening. But all the things that are happening, all the, 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 the sad moments, the horrible moments that we have been witnessing are only because of the police and the government. They're wholly 100 billion percent responsible for what you're seeing right now. All the desperation, all the sorrow, all the anger, the frustration is because of the government, the Hong Kong police, and of course the CCP who is pulling strings behind everything. Again, guys, the five demands are very simple. We're asking for nothing that was not promised to us already. We're asking for the extradition bill to be completely withdrawn. We are asking for amnesty for the protesters who were arrested. The decharacterization of riots, of the protests. A full private independent investigation. I mean a full, a full independent investigation on the police and their, and their abuse of human rights violations. And universal suffrage that was already promised to us nothing more we don't need anything more we're not asking for anything that is hard to do they prefer to kill people rather than giving the people what they originally already deserved Mac G, thank you for your concern and thank you for asking. Uh, I am I am preparing. I am I am prepared and and I have. Um, like I have I'm in contact with lawyers and and friends and, and everything so thank you for your concern and uh, yeah I will let you guys know my updates uh, very soon thank you so much for your concern <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, guys, I received uh, information the other day. Uh, a student managed to land an arrow at the police terrorist leg. Although the, the police didn't was not like in critical or 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 grave danger or anything. Uh, Carrie Lam went to visit that terrorist. Alright guys, so first of all, um, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to read and get informed while the live stream is going on because last night we finished the stream very late and uh, I, I actually slept for, for quite a while, uh, like this afternoon. So I'm also getting up to date with what is happening but when I started live stream we just saw the resistance in areas very close to PolyU, uh, in, for, for, for instance, Jordan, Team Satjoy East. Uh, I think some things were also going on in Wampo. And uh, these areas are all located very close to the Polytechnic University. We just see different fronts, fronts of resistance that are facing off the police.
ठीक है ना ठीक है ना तू ही चाहूँ ना चाहूँ ना 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 इसमें क्या है ठीक है ना कहाँ ना मुझे अरे आह 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 The reporter is saying that the police is continuously pushing the reporters away. Guys, I believe all these people that you see on the streets here, on the on the right hand side, they are going to try to help the students. These are just, you see people that are wearing all kinds of regular clothes, just citizens that aren't extremely concerned about the students. I think they're transporting supplies and different materials. YJ, thank you so much. I will, I will. Thank you so much, YJ, and thank you for your contribution. And Two Souls, thank you as well. Thank you so so much. Actually, it's very touching to to see all these people. But right now, someone is being arrested up here. Or, or wait, is it? Or are they trying to dismantle these roadblocks? So someone shared this on Discord. One uh, the 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 front wheel of the water cannon truck busted. Thank you for sharing this. This was near Poly. Wait, that's that's a that's a rifle with live ammo. That, 
Is that how you're supposed to hold a, a rifle from the magazine? Or, or is that the, the police are so poorly trained that they don't even know how to hold a rifle? Oh my god, no, don't shoot at it. Don't shoot it. The reporter said that I believe the reporter said they, they did not open fire. They did not open fire with the with the with the rifle.
啊，誒、呃，相信而家火勢就稍為減退啦。從剛才咧個警方一輪推進之後咧，咁又縮翻入去。但當佢哋推推到最前嘅時候咧，咁就俾記者警告啊，就話進入咗警方嘅鎖門，要求我哋離開。然之後就一輪就不斷叫，就誒、呃、叫罵啦，就話記者係黑記咁啊！咁見到啊，天雲台道啊，同埋出行道南嘅抗爭者咧，都係開始又出翻嚟啦。點解就不斷係用汽油打啊？我想就 ，so the reporter who was talking here was describing that. What is happening? That the police actually like disperse the people, but now the people have come out one more time, and you can see the use of Molotovs、uh, on that street as well. Here, the report is saying that you can see people are doing like human chains of supplies and materials. E Y Co, thank you so much. Thank you so so much for your support. Also, K F C, K F C said, wait, wait, wait. Guys, I I can't understand what the reporter is saying because I think she's speaking three. A heavy-duty mask. It's very hard to understand. But it sounds like she's describing the situation that you can see on screen. So sorry.、Um, I was reading KFC's comment. First of all, KFC, thank you so much for your support as well. KFC said, "Silence becomes cowardice when occasion when occasion demands." Speaking out the whole truth and acting accordingly. Mahatma Gandhi, we must keep up the pressure to spread what is happening in Hong Kong. Free Hong Kong, KFC. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, King Potato. King Potato explained that、uh, she saw a car who the protesters were investigating, since they believe is the car of Ho Guan Yu, Junior's Junior asshole. Now we're seeing. Wait, I want to see what what is going on with these people here. Guys, I, I can't I can't tell exactly what's going on, but it seems like they're giving special treatment to two people here. I don't know if maybe they showed some kind of document like mainland,、uh, main, chi, main, chi, like mainland Chinese resident or something like that. I'm not sure right now. 
Or are they going to stop and search them? Let's see what happens. This is in uh, PolyU, by the way. This looks like a bus stop. By the way, what I just said was like my first impression. But I will let you know what I see and, and, and what I get from what is happening. There's also some people sitting on the ground. I believe right now there's still a lot of students in PolyU, that's why we see so much people on the streets trying to get to PolyU and bring supplies. We have even large groups of social workers, legislative council members, principals of different schools trying to get to the, the, the Polytechnic University, trying to assist the students, trying to bring supplies to them. The reporter is describing that here uh, in the middle there is an empty lane so that people can run with things and on the sides there is human chains passing supplies. Wait, now here uh, the human chain uh, are, t are they're telling each other to move backwards and at the same time in, in East Sim Choi and in Sim Choi we see uh, a lot of tear gas being used. Yeah, so there is tear gas, there is tear gas being used against this, this large group of people that, that have no gear, they're just passing supplies to try to save the students at Poly. Yeah. 
，我都系直接向翻前行。后方仍然系一啲抛打物件嘅声音出现啊，出合同嗰度，你哋要躲手先。The the blue water that you saw on the screen, the in Hong Kong the water cannon truck uses a water. Is that the water from the water cannon truck? Wait, or is that like noise from the video? It seems that it's the blue water. Anyways, guys, the water cannon truck in Hong Kong uses a water that is laced with strong chemicals that are highly irritant and damage the skin and eyes of people. It's been proven, and it creates like um, basically because it's water-based, it sticks to you. It penetrates your skin deep in your lungs. Uh, when it when it's shot, it creates a mist, and uh, you get completely soaked on it. So like unlike un unlike tear gas, tear gas you can run away from it and and get relatively uh, relatively away from it quickly. But this water sticks to your clothes, sticks to your masks, uh, and it's just like horrible. There it is, one more time, shooting the water with highly irritant chemicals.
Matthew Cup, thank you so much. Your words, your words mean a lot. Thank you, really. Here we, we see images from within the line of supplies that are desperately trying to get food and water to the students and polio and medicine. And, and, and wait, uh, but here you can see the, 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 the countless rounds of tear gas in effect. By the way, guys, this tear gas is highly po poisonous. It has dioxin and cyanide. And, and, and so many chemicals. This is Chinese made uh, tear gas. Also, the cartridges, the, 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 the mortars shot with this tear gas get so hot, so hot. We have seen people getting injured. The, the mortars just stuck into a first aid volunteer's back, which completely destroyed his, his, his skin, his, his tissue, and even his spine was injured, crippling him. The app I am using to live stream, uh, you can find it in the description of this, of this live stream. It's called No China Extradition Live. You can see here, you can see a person under the effects of a tear gas. Oh, all right, 40, 4, 420 YOLO, YOLO DOG, DOJI, DOJI, thank you for explaining that. And Shane Shane, thank you as well. Come 
Now the riot police are running down the the, the, the stairs like from the bridge. They're running down here to riot police with fully full gear. Is there anyone left down here? I apologize, it's really really hard to understand what the reporter is saying with with her mask on. Tony Chan, thank you. Tony Chan, thank you so much. I will tell the world and I will keep doing my best to spread the truth of what is happening here. I will always stand with you guys. Again, for those of you who are just joining the live stream, we see people resisting the police in different fronts, all in places near the Polytechnic University. Here's the map. The Polytechnic University is located in Hongham, down here, Hongham. And we're seeing fronts resisting the police within Hongham, in Jordan, Yao Mate. East Simsat Joy and Simsat Joy, which is here and over here as well. People are trying to get to the university to assist the students. They're trying to help them. They're trying to pass supplies. There's supply chains. People are trying to get food, water, and medicine to them since the supply lines have been cut off by the police. They have, I believe, they also cut off the power supply to the university. And uh, there's still a lot of students. I believe there's still students injured inside. Last night, for those of you who were not watching the live streams, yesterday the police were sieging the, the university for almost 20 hours and at 5.30 a.m. the police rushed inside and brutally attacked the students and arrested students and arrested journalists, arrested paramedics, first aid volunteers, doctors. It was, it was a horrible sight and... Uh, they are getting full support by the police department and by the government. This is how the police treats the students on the street in front of journalists. Imagine how they treat them inside the detention centers. dragging them on the ground and stomping on their face and then standing on their necks that's the truth that's the reality of the hong kong police i just feel so sad for this person who i think is going to go through so much worse after he's taken to the detention centers the, the hong kong police is known for torturing people in the detention centers there are medical reports that indicate that those injuries are produced from strong torture both limbs broken and different injuries brain bleeding these are in the medical report 
rapes occur in the detention centers as well. A girl even had to have an abortion after being gang raped by four Hong Kong police terrorists. And now you see some 50 cents saying the police did not enter the school, okay? Guys, I was at 5.30 doing the live stream. You can, op you can literally open up my latest live stream before this one. And at the very beginning it shows the riot police and the raptors rushing in the schools, throwing students down the stairs, kicking them on their face when they were on the ground, pepper spraying them when they were already handcuffed. It was terrible. Kieran Greeny is asking, can these streams be seen in mainland China? Unfortunately, the amount of censorship that occurs in mainland China makes it almost impossible to share anything about this. The only thing that the people in mainland China knows if they are not like they are not used to use VPNs to, to see the truth, if they don't know the truth about their government, the only thing they see in Chinese news is like people uh, destroying public property and they believe that the Hong Kong police are heroes. Even I've been told that in some cases the people from mainland China are, are saying now I know what happened in Tiananmen Square in Tiananmen Square there were a bunch of students trying to destroy the city and the military saved the city from these violent students but we know the truth of what happened in Tiananmen Square in Tiananmen Square the students were and the students and, and other people were protesting peacefully for democracy for more democratic values and they were met by military with with machine guns and brutality and thousands were killed Vianney Dennis thank you so much for your support really means a lot also, EJ Kim, thank you so much. EJ Kim said, the UN, the UK and the USA have to make table to talk. Stop arresting and use, using tear gas. Stop destroying Hong Kong. Scary police. Thank you so much, EJ Kim, for all your support. FPH1217, thank you so much. I will always stand for the truth. I will always stand for what is right and I will do this for as long as it takes. I will keep doing this. For all the people who are here, please help us. You can do a lot, even from the distance, as some of you were saying in the comments. The easiest thing you can do to help is boycott every corporation that supports the CCP. And even the, the, the companies like Blizzard or, or personalities from other countries who support and kowtow to the CCP, we must boycott them. We need to, to target the wallets of the CCP. They are nothing without their money. Also demand 
that your your governments, your authorities, do something about the CCP restrictions, tariffs, sanctions. Avoid doing new trades with them. All those things will help. Those things do matter. And that's a very, very good way that you can help people, not only in Hong Kong, but all, all the people that are under the, the brutal oppression of the CCP. That is science is saying that if the protesters stop throwing uh, Molotovs or destroying the city, the police will not use tear gas. Uh, I would love that that's the case, but all the force used by protesters is in response of the indiscriminate use of violence by the police. Even when there is no one doing anything illegal, the police is still using brutal force, excessive use of force, tear gas and other things. And I'm not just words, I back up what I say with videos. Please take a look at this. The police in many occasions, right before they go onto their police vehicles to go away, they shoot tear gas directly at reporters. There was just a group of reporters and few residents. No one was breaking anything. No one was throwing anything at the police. Just a group of peaceful people. That's how they treat peaceful people and that's why people come to the streets because if those people, if the people who come out with gear and fight off the police were not on the streets, the police will be doing the same thing but to people without any kind of gear or, 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 or any kind of fighting chance. The freedom fighters, the frontliners are keeping the police at bay from the regular citizens. Look at this. This is a girl who was shopping. There was no, no, no destruction of any property or anything around. And there was over 10 police bathing this poor girl in, in pepper spray and everyone who were trying to get close to rescue her. That's what happens to people, even if they are not doing anything that might provoke violence, they still do that to, to just anyone they see on the streets because the police are on a power trip. They are crazy, they are criminals in their nature, they are criminals and terrorists.
Jeffrey, Jeffrey saying that the HSBC bank account of Spark Alliance is going to be shut down for some reasons. They have just announced that on Facebook. Yes, I was also hearing about that and I think it's important that I talk about that um, with, with everyone and I will try to find more links of reliable charities that hopefully can help use, uh, like help the victims and the protesters. Here is the video of the students and the people being taken into trains. I'm gonna share this link, but you have to go down here. There's like a green bar here, and you have to click on it, and it all, only then will show the video. So quick, very quickly, here's the video how the, the MTR staff are helping the police to put all these arrested people onto trains. And I don't want to even imagine when they're, where they're going to take them. Apparently the police said that they were using the trains to take them to the police stations. But I don't believe anything the police says after all the lies and the brutality and the human rights violations. That's why we say that the MTR is a complice, an accomplice of the police brutality and human rights violations. And that's why we retaliate against the MTR as well. Peter Gao, thank you so much. Peter Gao is saying, help them please. 
Many thanks from, for telling the truth from a mainland student in Hong Kong. Peter Gao, thank you so much. And please be safe. I know that people from mainland have a especially difficult time uh, when they're trying to get access to truth, uh, to like real information or trying to spread news or even just getting involved in these kind of live streams is so dangerous. So please be safe and thank you so much. And I hope that one day we can also help everyone in mainland China and everyone who is being oppressed by the CCP. This is in Jordan, top left screen, Jordan. You see, I think it's raptors running around. Now they're yelling at people. They, they, they just pushed the person on the ground and uh, they're telling everyone else to go away. So just running and, and, and arresting random people apparently. That person was not even doing anything, just standing there. The, the, the report said that they are beating that person, they are beating... We still see a lot of people here in the human chain for supplies to try to help the students at the university. And here that, that person who was just standing there uh, is being uh, arrested with force, even though the person is not doing any resistance. Uh, people around the world if you can it doesn't have to be today but if you could at some point organize rallies or, or organize your friends tell them the truth what is happening mega it doesn't it doesn't have to be a massive protest just I think few hundred people will do if you go near a, a, a government building on your country or something with signs blaming China for their atrocities, talk about the concentration camps where they're putting Uyghurs, talk about organ harvesting, talk about all the people being killed, tortured and gang raped. If your governments are not willing to talk about what is going on, you can talk for your governments. I think we have to do this, we have to, we have to protest in different parts of the world if we want that the, 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 the world will unite against the CCP, which is technically or basically the, the, the Nazis of the 2000, of, of this century. I'm already organizing uh, and, and, and trying to get people to come out in Chile to protest. My friends and my family are going to come out to protest and try to expose the evil doings of the CCP. Right now, the situation in Chile is a little bit uh, busy. They're busy doing other things, but they are also going to come. And if you guys from other countries around the world could do something like that, it would be really useful to bring down the evil regime.
。咁啊，佢哋咧，佢哋咧就继续咁，从物资嘅工程。Yamate, we have an image of Yamate here. Top left. This is Yamate. Uh, 420 YOLO Doge yes exactly the CCP they are just so blandly stupid some people online said that the the dictator of the CCP Xi Jinping looked like Winnie the Pooh and then Winnie the Pooh was completely banned within China Asher Serana, thank you so much. Asher, Asher Serana said, As a resident in Belgium, I am ashamed that my country's government is currently on its quote unquote biggest economic mission ever in China. It's, it's actually, yeah, in, indeed it's sad to hear that. But at least there's people like you who, who have opened their eyes and, and see the truth. And I just want to say thank you so much, Asher Serana. I really appreciate and I'm so happy to see that there's people like you out there. Themina Rai, thank you so much. Mr. Bill Gardner, thank you. I love Holland. Thank you so much for your support. HMMM is asking, please explain briefly what is causing the arrest in Chile. Uh, sure, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to explain you very quickly. The government and the elites in Chile is like the 1% of people control everything including the water the water is privately owned in chile all the water in chile all the resources there is and the, and the difference between the rich and the poor is so huge people die in waiting lists i know people who who get calls for medical treatment like for example uh excuse me is this is this uh mrs mrs i don't know Mrs. Thompson, a resident, yes, uh, I'm calling from the hospital to tell her that uh, her, her appointment with the doctor is finally here. 
uh, then the person who replied the phone said sorry my mom died like two years ago in 2018 over 9,000 people died during while waiting for medical treatment in Chile public education public health is, are a joke people use most of their money in basic necessities and uh, people are are just tired sick and tired of a government who just cares about the elites and uh, yeah basically that I, I have other videos explaining that I don't want to talk too much about that right now uh, but please watch my other videos where I cover what is going on in Chile thank you As no, someone said. Veronica Plang said, "You're you're Chile people. Why you hate Chinese so much? I don't hate Chinese. I love Chinese. The people from China. I have so many friends. The people of China. The majority of them are a victim of the CCP's." horrible brainwashing and um, like for example I do hate the 50 cents because the 50 cents actually have access to all the truth I hate the CCP because they know the truth but they are oppressing the people but I have nothing absolutely nothing against the people of China those who act violently against others those are the ones I have a problem with Masa Mimura, thank you so much. Masa Mimura said thank you for your dedicated work. Muchísimas gracias. Truly respect Hong Kongers for their courage and determination never to give in, which we Japanese sadly seem to have lost long time ago. Oh, thank you so much. And I actually also admire Japanese people very much. Thank you, Masa Mimura, for your contribution and your support and your words. Heal in Jordan. We see people still hold. Wait, they are firing in Team Sat Joy. There is that where we're we were seeing the 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 human chain of supplies.
不過人群散咗一陣之後咧，又再聚集翻喺馬路上面。當啱有示威者咧，就係相信咧係掟咗燃燒彈。The reporter was just describing, and at the end, they someone threw a Molotov. Now, uh, the reporter was also saying that there was a, a like arrest attempt by the police. The people are, are are moving backwards. They are they are pushing backwards. The 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 people the the reporter said. The report is saying that from the bridge, the police are pointing downwards and firing tear gas. So the human chain, I believe it was the human chain where people were trying to get supplies to the students uh, is now being compromised and under siege by the police. Oh, 420, uh, no, that, that's not me. That's, that's uh, one of my roommates who's moving some stuff. Some people are yelling, uh, like, do it slowly, do it like with care. They are also telling people from the bridge, they are yelling at people where there is people, where there is no people, like, where route, which routes to take.
What? They're shooting at the bridge. I believe they're what they're shooting. We can hear the the bang and then the impact of the projectiles. The reporter is saying that because of the thick smoke, it's quite hard to see what is going on. The reporter is saying that the police is firing a large number of tear gas rounds. You can actually see the the tear gas shells uh, ignite due to the high temperatures they are.
，你哋住塊床褥。雖然應該單人床褥啊，但係應該都有相當嘅重量。小威正常前面已經係退到去窩打路道十字路呢個位置，咁呢個位置咧其實都係相當之危險嘅，因為咧係左右兩邊咧都可能係會有其他嘅警員啦，係隨時衝出嚟。不過暫時咧我哋見到只係得前方嘅一批嘅防暴警察喺現場啫。Andrej Novotny, thank you for your your support and your message students strong right now indeed we see a majority of people here i believe are students we see people from different backgrounds as well they're all trying to fend off the police hold them out and 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 thin them out so that they cannot oppress other people especially now they're trying to relieve the students who are trapped in polio Look at that battalion of riot police using their white lasers to point at people. Now they just keep advancing and shooting while they are advancing. I remind everyone, the people who were just here, the majority were people unarmed without any kind of gear. The, the, maybe the... Wait a second. They're, they're, they're now running here on this bridge where the reporters were and they're pushing the reporters away. Let's take a listen. They're, yeah, they're yelling and threatening the reporters. You see how they're pushing them away from the bridge so that they cannot record their brutality and share it to the world. This, this terrorist, I mean, sorry, police officer is yelling at the reporter saying, if I tell you to walk, you have to walk. Now they're shaking the pepper spray at, the, at reporters. Reporters who are supposedly in a city where there is freedom of the press. But these terrorists with masks that show no number, no identification, just threatening them. The report is saying now the the riot police are like uh, telling the 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 people and the reporters to go away. Some people are saying that the protesters are being helped by the CIA. If that's the case, then I am one of the CIA agents. I heard so much crap from these people. Seriously, like.
Max Meath is saying, I think the terrorists are tear gassing the journalists so that they hope they will go away so that their crimes are not caught on camera. PLA Popo, the world is watching you thugs. Thank you Max Meath, I agree with you. Luxury H, thank you very much. Oh my god, come 818Y. Yes, I did. I am sorry I missed your your super chat. Come 818 said, "Keep up the good work and tell the world what is happening to Hong Kong." Thank you so much, come 818Y. I will keep doing my best to spread the truth and keep fighting for Hong Kong. What is happening here? Guys, is history on the making? And I do wish the best for all the frontliners. Wait, so something's there. What, what was that? Matteo Tono Tone Loto, I'm not sure uh, like if you come from Australia. I mean I'm sure you could help. Um but I would advise you to be very careful. Now, the the report is saying that now they're showing the banners and pointing their guns at the at the freedom fighters on his left. Also here we see a McDonald's uh, that is like outside the McDonald's there is some stuff on fire. This is Yamate. I believe it's the same place here from different angles.
the police continues to fire at the freedom fighters Here we see still the resistance trying to hold their ground in Jordan. Again, what we're seeing are different fronts resisting the police. The people were trying to help the students in Polyu. If you guys didn't see or, or know what happened yesterday, the police was sieging, storming the Polyu campus for almost a whole day. And at 5.30 a.m., the police stormed inside and brutally attacked the students. They threw some students down the staircases. They, they kicked students on the face. They arrested journalists, first aid volunteers, doctors. Now people were trying to, to, to go uh, bring supplies, uh, bring relief to the students who are still in PolyU campus in all the areas all the sectors that we see currently on the screen, East, Team Sat Joy, Jordan, Yao Matei, all these areas are very close to Hong Kong, where, is the, where the Polytechnic University is located. Now we see a flag there, the flag says, Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our Time.
，我竟然係未有輕易推進，暫時都只係守住咗喺窩打老道十字路向內街嘅左右兩邊啦，就不停用電筒去照射嘅，相信係擔心啦，好似再早啲。之前咁樣啦，有一啲人咧係會匿咗喺外街嘅位置啊，係向佢哋投擲汽油彈呢一次嘅汽油彈啦，由六點咧，的確係比較近啲嘅。你聽到喺小威士入邊咧，都相當之不滿啊。Matteo Ton。Tony Lo Tony Lodo is asking: Is there any chance that CCP can shut down streams and your channel? Unfortunately, I am always uh, like it is a possibility. I am always expecting that at one point I will not be able to find streams or or I will not be able to get online. Um, yeah, it is a possibility, and let's hope it will not happen. The site I use to live stream all these uh, different streams is called No China Extradition Live. You can find the link at the in the description of this video. Matthew Cup, you misunderstand a lot of comments. You must be exhausted. Uh, do you mean like, do you mean me or 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 someone else? 我見到咧係誒，當時咧整個試圖向前行嘅時間啊，警員嗰邊咧亦都係隨即啦，發射咗橡膠子彈。
you can see people are actually advancing towards the police to try to gain as much ground as they can. The reporter is also saying that, that they are slowly, slowly pushing forward. Lam Fox is asking, why does the South China Morning Post keep calling them radicals? There is a lot of pro-Chinese, pro-CCP uh, staff in, in the South China Morning Post. And a lot of their posts are, are pro-CCPA. Uh, some posts are fine, but I see a lot of, of things coming from South China Morning Post to be uh, pro-Beijing. By the way, guys, I uh, just want to let you know, um, I, uh, I am not the, I am not in charge of the uh, live stream chat. There is a group of moderators who are doing uh, a wonderful work, a very tough work to, to try to keep the live chat clean. And in some occasions, they might misunderstand uh, some comments. There might be some misunderstandings because there is so many trolls, so many 50 cents uh, and so many comments going on at the same time that it makes it very hard. And um, these people actually, the, 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 the moderators teams, they, they, they have their own jobs. They, they work and then they use their spare time. Their, they are tired as well. So if there is any time that you think your comments were uh, deleted uh, by accident... Oh no, wait! Oh no! No! Uh, there were some, some missed shots of the, of the Molotovs and hit their, their front lines and now they're retreating. The reporter is also saying that they, there was like a, a missed shot and they, they hit the front lines with the, with the Molotovs. I, I really hope they're fine. Don't 
面將佢哋嘅航線啊，繼續向前推進。For the people who don't know what is happening right now, why the students and why the people who are on the streets right now are protesting, they are protesting and, and, and resisting the police brutality. The police and the government have been doing whatever they want. They have been breaking the law constantly. They have been violating human rights, torturing people, raping people killing people and denying everything there is no accountability for any of the terrorists which are part of the hong kong police force there have been terrorist attacks co-organized by the police and the government against the people and everything started this year like the movement that started this year they had this kind of protests have been going on for actually over 20 years but this year's movement has started because people were against the extradition bill proposed by the Carrie Lam administration. People came out to protest peacefully for months already, over five months of peaceful demonstrations that have been totally ignored and even not only ignored but, but met with intense police brutality and human rights violations. And now at this point you can see on the streets that people are taking it and trying their best to, to fight fight back the police now they're trying to relieve the students on poly U. Uh, you can see people are coming out in the locations near polytechnic university of hong kong and as people were also trying to send supplies water food medicine to the students uh, but the police still is meeting everyone with intense violence and uh, countless rounds of tear gas to put things in perspective the other day on the 12th of of november the Hong Kong police terrorists went in to see the Chinese University campus and they fired over 2,300 rounds of tear gas to students inside the campus. One day, over 2,300 rounds of tear gas is insane. And the, the amount of violence from the police to not only people who come out to actively protest, but people who are just on the street, journalists, medics doctors is insane even firefighters and ambulance personnel are attacked by the police they are harassed they denied their their presence in situations of emergency they refuse their access to to situations of emergency where they are needed Yeah, also a lot of people uh, is talking about the PLA, the Chinese army infiltrated in the Hong Kong police. The reason why the CCP is disguising their military as riot police is because there is actually a prohibition and they know the international backlash that if they publicly uh, put the military in Hong Kong would cause and that's why they are disguising them as Hong Kong riot police.
For those of you who just joined, allow me to show you uh, the treat the treatment of the Hong Kong police, the Hong Kong police terrorists. This is a video of a girl who was just on the street. You will see all the streams of pepper spray being shot at her, even though she's not even protesting. She was just walking on the street, but the terrorists are doing whatever they want. They think they own the city. A lot of people were saying, let me, let me take her away, let me take her away, just let me take... And they get pepper spray as well. And they just keep pepper spraying. They just go back and keep pepper spray this poor, this poor girl. And this guy trying to get the he get pepper spray by four different pepper spray cans by these police terrorists. And this is going been going on for five months because people came out to peacefully protest. The police and the government don't want any peaceful protest to occur. So that's how they treat the citizens to scare them and try to silence their voices. And what you're seeing now on the screen is the resistance against the police brutality. What I just show you, the video I just show you is one of thousands of examples of how the police and the government are treating the citizens. This is how they treat journalists. Wait, I will show you this after after, after we see what's going on right now. Uh, more tear gas is being shot directly at the at the group of people here who are trying to bravely hold their ground. Alright guys, I'm going to pay attention here and translate whatever I hear. But I believe these are like the principals going to 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 this to the school. But again guys, the PolyU principal yesterday instead of coming out, he just submitted a video telling students to surrender to the police. They they said I believe some people are saying like telling the students to surrender to the police since the police is promising to treat them fairly. But we cannot believe absolutely nothing that comes out from the police because they're always lying. you I thank you for informing former uh, legislative council uh, president Jasper Dang 
legal scholar Cheng Tat Meng, centrist figure Edwin Cheng and political PR Luo Wing Chong have entered. This is going on right now in Poly U. Some people were saying uh, masks, masks. Here is uh, in a full screen from Apple Daily, top right. The image is from PolyU. They're asking how they are going to help the students. He's saying that he doesn't even know uh, where they're taking him, but they're just taking him somewhere. That, that I believe that person is a like a professor of law, like a important figure in Hong Kong University. And, and the person next to him is uh, the. He is actually, I believe, he's pro Beijing, and he's the former. Uh, chairman of the Legislative Council member, I mean the Legislative Council. They, I, I believe they were discussing about where whether to talk out in the public or or inside a, a like a more private place. Now the the members of the like the the group uh, of people who like is there is a group called Protect the Children. Um, they are taking the, they are leaving them inside the university.
uh, that group, that group protect the children. The group stayed here overnight, actually. They're telling everyone to move one step backwards. So he's talking from a law perspective. He's saying that there is a lot of reasons to stay in the university, and if the police cannot prove anything, uh, they they will not. They will hardly send you to prison. Also, they, he's saying that uh, if they come out from university, they're probably going to arrest you. But uh, you still should like stay silent, say no comments. They're talking now, someone is asking about the parents. That that person is, was saying that the, the, he can assure that there will be no violence by the police. Because people were saying they they were tell they were saying that last night the police were beating people up until they were bleeding intensely, but they still didn't let them go to the hospital. But but took them to the police de the detention centers or stations. He's saying if like you have concerns we can wait for for the principal. Uh, 
你之後你都可以攞到保釋啊，剩啊咁樣咯。啊，我只能夠係咁樣講法咯。咁如果你係真係嘅，嗱，我哋我哋其實一定有信心，因為之前啲同警隊高層傾咗㗎啦。He's saying that he cannot, he cannot ensure that they will not be arrested, but he can try to help afterwards. I want to deal with them. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not responding to the press. I want to talk to them. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not a press conference. That's what I'm saying. This is not a press conference. I'm sorry. Okay. So he's saying that they will try to negotiate with the police, uh, and then if the police break the promise, then they will have like a, the the police will have a very serious problem. They're saying. Now they're asking, can you ensure that everyone will be safe? Uh, he's telling them that like you have to like uh, see if like where you're not hurt before you're taken to the police station and then if you're uh, injured while or after you were in the police station and also that he's saying that he will be there and a group of lawyers also will be helping there in the police stations. Uh, the, the, he's also saying that he believes that if you guys go out now, you will not receive violence by the police, and when you are arrested in the police stations, you're not going to receive violence by the police either. I believe the the student is saying like, all right, that, so if we go out, we're going to get arrested. But what is the reason that we'll get arrested? We're just supposed to let them arrest us. The student, the student is very concerned that they cannot guarantee that they will not beat them up. Ten 
人感覺上，佢警方係咪要投情呢？好勁，你睇下佢。真係趕盡殺絕嘅喎。He also was asking, like, is it the is it the case that the police and wants or is going to massacre us? He was saying, if they want us to leave peacefully, how about the police goes away first, and then we're going to leave away peacefully. Guys, pay attention. There is a magazine on the ground with live ammunition. It was found in Yao Mate. Uh, so the reporter has been talking and saying that the students actually don't don't they are not afraid of getting a bad record of being arrested, but the real fear is to be tortured inside the police detention centers.
跟住我們校長出了去之後翻到離開了這個危險的境地 These people are also saying that they hope that uh, they can leave uh, safely that the students can leave safely 以我們掌握的資料就應該超過150位中學生應該仲留守在這個現場的 uh, He believes that there is around 150 high school students uh, in here Oh, my God. 
，見到咧咁咧有個小姐同埋一件一個懷疑係所有妓女嘅。They are arresting more girls over here, uh, and you can you can see it here. And uh, they are keeping the reporters at a long and a, a, like a far distance, trying to block the reporter cameras with their shields. The reporters are always trying to get angles so that they can record. But you can see actual the actual distance where the police keeps the reporters. There is a mask with blood underneath it as well, and uh, the police arrest a lot of uh, young girls, and it's, it's terrible, it's horrible because we know the stories of sexual harassment, sexual abuse, rapes that the police has committed. It just it truly breaks my heart to see these young people being arrested. Come on, 
Start hier. I got some footage from from yesterday here Amnesty International we received this exclusive footage from two social workers trapped inside Hong Kong Polytechnic University at 750 Hong Kong time under siege by the police quote-unquote the police told us it was safe to leave but when we went out they released tear gas the police must immediately defuse the standoff at PolyU you can see the tweet. I will s I will send the the link in the live chat. I received another another tweet. A police source says that more than 400 people have been arrested at PolyU since 10 p.m. on Sunday. That's 8% of the overall arrests total of at least 4,893 since June 9, and by far the largest number of Hong Kong protesters arrested within a 24-hour period. I will also share this tweet with everyone in the live chat. There are more warnings of illegal assembly. They're showing the tear gas banner right now. The black banner, which means they're going to start firing more tear gas. The, the reporter, I believe the reporter is saying he, but it's actually very hard to understand.
，大家感唔感受到沙鲁嗰啲电筒嗰啲强？ Yeah, the 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 reporter is talking about the the flashlight that is being used to point at the reporter's cameras. 系咪闪下闪下之后就会变成美少女战士？美少女。So I repeat, the reporter was talking about how they are using the the flashlights, which are technically white lasers, to point at the at the cameras and the reporters. Before I continue, I, allow me to say thank you to the mind readers. Thank you, the mind readers, for your support. We'll see the armored vehicle there. I don't know why the the reporter was talking about the water cannon truck, but I believe that is the armored vehicle. No offer any conditions, and no other person. I just received a request for assistance. He he was saying that I only received one request. The request I received was to come out, come here for the kids, and take them out safely. The report is saying like you don't care about what things happened in the past, but you're saying that now that they say it's going to be safe, they're going to be safe. Okay. What? Um, uh, the 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 reporter was asking like, how about the the medics who went out and and were exposed to tear gas? Wait, let me let me finish hearing first, and I will tell you the main point. At the end, they ask what, what, how many kids you're planning to take out? How many kids you're planning to take away? He said, I don't know. Uh, we have to discuss it first. And now in Yamate, they continue to fire. Like basically, people were asking uh, for like how you ensure the safety. What do you think about like when the police are like firing tear gas? I couldn't really understand his replies. It was like, if you don't want to like be exposed to tear gas, just don't be exposed to tear gas. That was what I understand. I don't know if what he says is just ridiculous or I understand it wrong. If someone can uh, help me to like explain what he really said in the comments, I will appreciate it. He's saying there's a lot of people here to bring them out. There's like principals and, and social workers. He's saying that no matter what people come out of here, the, the police is going to arrest them.
uh, Eden Vaughn is saying, he said, you come with me, then you will know. Oh, wow. Like when they asked, like, what happened with the, when the medics went outside to and got exposed to tear gas with, like, things like that. So he said, if if there is tear gas, I will breathe it in with them. Leung, Leung, Leon or Leung Winston said. Thank you guys for helping me translate in the comments. Here is images from Team Sat Joy, Yao Mate, and uh, still some some small like the small screen here showing what is going on inside the Polytechnic University. People are yelling, liberate Hong Kong, the revolution of our time. Here. The, the freedom fighters. I'm gonna remove the audio with the alarm because I think it's annoying everyone. By the way, I need to point out that this is how the police treat people who are already handcuffed and restrained, but taunts to the head, even when there are reporters nearby, just beating them up with batons inside the bush, even though they're restrained, firing tear gas at groups of just civilians. This is how people, the police, treat people, an, an elderly, pushing him like that. He's an elderly in the group of protected children. This is how they treat people in front of the cameras. And it just gets m so much worse within the police detention centers. Just putting down the cameras of the journalists. Harassing 
and attacking the 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 firefighters. These are firefighters who are getting attacked by the by the Hong Kong police terrorists. This is how they treat people right in front of journalists and cameras and what goes on inside the detention centers is just so much horrible it's even hard to imagine and that's the fate that a lot of those people who are being arrested right now those young people who are just asking for their basic rights to be respected Until now, not a single riot policeman has been uh, under investigation or or accused by the own police department of excessive use of force. The police, the higher ranks said that there is not a single case of excessive use of force by the riot police. But look at these images. Inside a shopping mall. There were journalists filming what was going on and the riot police was just pepper spraying the journalists from the second floor onto the first floor. Nothing was going on. They were doing nothing and they're intentionally pepper spraying, shooting at journalists, beating them up. The police is also known for a fact to be collaborating with the triads and the white t-shirts. These white t-shirts were attacking in massive... Uh, gangs the the residents in Yunlong the police were supporting them and hiding the evidence they they refused to accept that they, they said in a public statement that not a single police officer saw anyone suspicious and therefore no one was arrested they didn't even ask for any of those uh, identity cards but you see how they treat people wearing black on the streets all the time they're of course they're just trying to to suppress the the freedom of speech and the voices of those who are legitimately uh, legitimately protesting on the streets they are also constantly in so many occasions uh, not allowing the ambulance personnel to to carry on their their duty they're refusing ambulances and firemen to go into emergency situations where there is injured people not only once but in so many occasions the riot police denying access to ambulance personnel ambulance vehicles and firefighters Here is another video. This is how they treat those who are already restrained. Drag him on the ground and stomping on his face and then stepping on it. He's, oh, he's st standing on top of his neck after stomping it, after dragging this person who cannot move on the ground. And right in front of journalists, they don't care because they know that they don't it doesn't matter what they do they have zero accountability for their actions if this happened in any other country i be not well i would not say any other country but if this happened in any country where law is respected those police will be put out of service and go to jail but in hong kong since they have the protection of the ccp and the government they are doing whatever the hell they want.
Oh, sure, I can send these links. I, sh I always forget to send the links in the live chat. Um, I'm going to post it here with a brief description so that you can uh, save it on your Instagrams and, and share it with more people, please. Ching Base, thank you so much for your contribution. Guys, I know there's so many contributions that I didn't say thanks to. Um, please allow me to, to say thanks to, to all the wonderful contributors who are allowing me to spend so much time on these live streams. Right now, my only source of income is uh, what I get uh, from your donations. Bahit Slim, thank you so much. Your comment is stay strong, Hong Kongers. The Mind Readers, thank you so much again. Justin C, thank you so much. Justin C said this could be a, a historic moment. Carlos O, thank you so much. Carlos O said thank you for all you do. It is important for those outside of Hong Kong and mainland to see what is really going on. I'm living in Shenzhen and go to Hong Kong almost every week. What the CCP has done is disgraceful. J O J O Young, thank you so much as well. Time person of the year 2009, 2019, only one clear winner. Thank you so much. Please, guys, everyone, if you can vote for the people of the year, the Times people of the year, uh, it will really help us if you could vote for the Hong Kong protesters to keep spreading awareness of what is happening here. I will continue to say thanks to other contributors later uh, now I'm going to check more videos first wait uh, I, I'm seeing the Guys, I'm seeing the, I think, images from a hospital, but they're not going in. I mean, they're here, they're showing the interior. But we're getting the sound from the outside uh, in, in Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Emo Cat, that's a great idea. I'm going to make a, a document with links to all these videos that I'm saving so that it's easier to share and I will just share the link to the document. Thank you, thank you for that idea and I will do it later on. 
Thank you. Right now we're getting the audio from the Polytechnic University. I'm trying to understand what they're saying but it's so noisy and there is echo so it's hard to understand. And over here as well, you can see the police are, are drawing near the, the, the freedom fighters here who are still trying to hold their grounds. I believe this is Yao Mate. Rubber bullets, the report saying a rubber bullets hit just next to them, you can see it broke the sign. The report saying the rubber bullet just hit that sign next to him, broke the glass and uh, you can see the rubber bullet there on the ground.
the, the, the freedom fighters were trying to advance, but now they're being pushed one more time or they're retreating one more time. We're getting the audio from the bottom right screen. Again, the bottom left screen is coming from Polytechnic University. And other images are coming from Yaomate and surrounding areas. Uh, before I continue, please allow me to say thank you to Lester Chick. Thank you so much. Barbara Smith, thank you so much. Don't worry, you're, it's already so much. You don't know how much it means to me. Thank you so much for your support. NTN, thank you so much. I will, con yeah, consider using Facebook live stream too. I will, uh, I'm sorry, I will try my best to to en enable live streaming on both platforms. And I will definitely let you know when I do, thank you so much, all of you, for your for your tremendous support. Already for so many hours the resistance has been trying to hold their ground. Earlier we saw people taking supplies to PolyU because there's already uh, there's still a lot of students, uh, some of them who might be injured, exhausted, who have been resisting the siege and the storm uh, storming that the police I mean the police were basically storming the university, the students were resisting their supply chains where um, they basically were overwhelmed by the police the supply chains were disrupted by the police the students have now even those who are injured have no no food no water no medicine no supplies and people I think over a hundred thousand people came to the streets today to try to help the students they were trying to move over to to Hong Ham to the Polytechnic University but the police has continued to oppress and, and, and stop the people from helping. Pui Hei Yip, Pui Hei Yip said, "Liberate Hong Kong, Guang for Hong Kong, Si Doi Gat Meng," by a Hong Konger. Thank you so much, Pui Hei Yip. We'll keep fighting, we'll keep resisting, I will keep standing with you guys for as long as, as long as it's necessary, and even afterwards. Right now, I cannot get any audio from here. Wait, maybe if I mute this, can we hear something? No, I can't hear what what they're talking there. Maybe here. Uh, 
I don't know what's going on with the audio. But on the streets, the people are still fending off the police. I just want to, to remind you that yesterday the police were storming the Hong Kong Polytechnic University for almost a whole day and at 5.30 they stormed inside the, 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 the university campus and they brutally attacked the students, they fired at them at close range, they brutally arrested them, they tear gassed them, a fire broke loose inside the campus, they arrested medics, paramedics, doctors, journalists. Um, and guys, those of you who watch the live stream with me yesterday, we clearly saw how the police stormed inside the campus. But you know what? You are not going to believe this. The police have publicly stated that the police did not go inside the campus. They publicly said, I believe it was in the press conference, that the police did not go inside the campus. Can you believe that? how the police is lying over and over and again they just lie in front of everyone and they have no accountability even when proven to be lying how can we expect them to conduct their own investigations on police brutality when every day they're clearly lying even though we have so much video evidence Toto Volador Luna, thank you so much. Toto Volador Luna is saying, never give in. Hong Kong, in my heart, thank you so much. I believe that we can tell for sure that the people in Hong Kong have shown so much power and, 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 and will, power of will to never give in. I'm sure they will keep fighting until they, they, they are successful. Thank you so much. This is uh, the resistance front in Mongkok. People in Hong Kong had too much police brutality, too much human rights violation, too many people arrested illegally. And unfortunately, we have, we now are seeing the resistance. The government and the police have left no other choice to the people. They ignored, they have ignored some of the largest demonstrations in the history of the world. They, after, you know what the government said, after two million people came out on the streets to protest against the government. The government said these people have no stake in society. And then they escalated their police violence even more.
，贊成啦。作為建制派啊，其中一個都好知名嘅政治人物。I believe this is in Mong Kok. The reporter here was saying like uh, some people were complaining. Uh, some people, I think they were saying like, why do you always like uh, harass those uh, like under 18 years old and things like that. Right now we're only getting the audio from here, the bottom left. Wait, the police is the police is charging. The police is charging. Here in Mongkok, the police is charging, and uh, they are saying, "Run, run, go backwards, escape." We can see in the background here the police are running. They're just running towards the people, the freedom fighters. Here's someone with a knife. Someone with a knife attacking people here. The the guy the guy in the gray t-shirt had a knife and he was stabbing people. I think some people got stabbed already. And now we see the 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 the, the people beating him up after he was stabbing some people. I think some of them already got stabbed.
here, here in this shop, uh, someone was stabbing people. It looked like he was stabbing people. At one point, people were sta starting to yell, like, go away, go away, go away. And now that they're protecting him and they're uh, helping him out, the, the first aid volunteers are helping him. There he, there he is, he's not even incapacitated. He got a mild beating and he, he it seems that the, the, the EMT, the, the, the first aid responders are like trying to hold him down and uh, they're closing down the gates from this shop. The reporter at the end was mentioning that it seemed that the guy was drunk. Now I really need to point out that in that situation, if they called the police saying, hey police, this guy was stabbing or trying to stab people with a knife, the police would just come over take him to safety and pepper spray all the other people and probably arrest many of them. Police are telling the... They are telling the reporters to keep moving, I believe. Oh, 
Look at those massive arrests. Being forced to kneel down while handcuffed and then taken to detention centers. In the majority of these cases, the court will rule them innocent. They will say not, not, no evidence of they committing any crime. But the police will use the 48 hours they have to keep them in the detention centers while quote-unquote investigation. The police actually knows that they have no reason to arrest them. They still do. And during those 48 hours, they torture them, beat them up, and in some cases even rape them. Water cannon truck being used in Team Sat Joy. Water cannon truck is being used in Team Sat Joy. Yux, Yux, sorry if I read your name wrong. Thank you so much. Yux is saying something very important. Yux said, don't buy Chinese products. China's control of production in our global economy is why so few other governments dare to support Hong Kong. If big international businesses move production away, China's political power will weaken too. You have spoken 100% truth. Thank you so much, Wayux, for your support and your words. Really well said. Oh my god, the, the reporter said that here they have been here for like over an hour and I heard the number she said 68, around 68 people Did I hear wrong? I think I heard wrong 68, oh my god But but yeah, they, they, they said she said that it's been over one hour here on, on the top right screen Gay 眼前大概就有 reporter said that these people have been kneeling down and facing the wall for over an hour. That's 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 I, I don't have to even explain it, guys. Just 
over an hour kneeling down facing the wall scared the police with weapons behind you and you in you knowing what the police do to you once you're in the detention centers Uh, someone was trying to get back home, uh, but the police told them to like come again later. That's that's what the reporter said. Thank you guys for helping me confirm. Yes, 68 individuals kneeling down facing the wall for over an hour and being threatened by the police here. And they know they cannot just like, if you get tired of kneeling like this for over an hour and you try to see it or you try to move, the police gets you with batons to the head saying stop resisting and just beat you up and give you brain bleeding or broken limbs or all the other kind of injuries we have seen in the past few months. Mukinegon, The police accused people that they capture on the streets of rioting. They charge people with rioting which can lead them to having to spend 10 years in prison just for coming out to the streets, just for fighting for the rights, the rights that we deserve, every single human deserve. These, just imagine, uh, most of these young people are around 19 years old, 18 sometimes less, sometimes more than that. That means that when they come out of prison, they will be almost 30. Almost 30 coming out of prison for something that, for, for fighting for justice. But in the other hand, the police and the government who are clearly torturing people, raping people, killing people, none of them have to face any kind of justice.
實現場咯，都有人係不滿警員不停用一個電電筒去照明。The other time, when a criminal stabbed four people and beat someone's ear off, I'm sure you're all familiar with that case. When the riot police came, which was very late afterwards, they did not even handcuff the criminal who stabbed the four people. They did not restrain him. They did not push him on the ground or tell him to kneel, anything. They just treat him so gently. And now you're seeing here these young people who were not even like, they were doing nothing. They were just around here. Police is always arresting people who are on the streets, like for wearing, for being young and wearing black. You get arrested nowadays in Hong Kong and they treat you like this. The reporter is repeating one more time. These people here, 68 individuals, standing, sit, kneeling here for over one hour. The reporter is saying that one male was uh, taken by the firefighters in the ambulances uh, away from the cordon, the, the, the police cordon. Uh, he's saying, yeah, there was one person with a broken arm. So the person with the broken arm apparently was taken on an ambulance. Luckily that the firefighters were here to assess the injured. Otherwise, we know that the police, they don't care. And even when people have broken limbs or are bleeding uh, intensely, they still bring them to the police stations and deny any kind of uh, medical treatment. The reporter is saying when they brought the, when the ambulance brought the man with the broken arm into the they were taking him away the man the young male had no reaction like looked unconscious but after they give him like a uh, oxygen supply I believe is what she said uh, they saw the young man open his eyes. Leftover crumbs, I have already unbanned Aussie Tex. Uh, please help me check, but I already did unban him. Give me a second, I'm gonna check one more time. The reporter is explaining one more time. The that one man was 
had a broken arm. A person had a broken arm, and now you see the firefighters uh, inside the police cordon. Lorenzo, yes, this is really live. Lo leftover crumbs, don't worry. Lorenzo, yes, this is live stream. Right now it's happening in Hong Kong. Right now what we're seeing is over 60, around 68 individuals, as reported by the journalist here, uh, being arrested by the police, but being kneeling, facing the wall for over one hour. I don't know how long it's maybe now, one hour and 15 minutes. For over an hour, kneeling, facing the wall. Even uh, one of them had broken arm. And luckily, the firefighters are there. Otherwise, uh, the police would be just ignoring anyone who have any um, first aid necessity. And now, now we see them moving. Now they're finally moving. After one hour, some of kneeling against the wall. The report saying for 14 girls. No, no, wait. The the. The dead reporter just said that they just took away 14 girls. The reporter is saying, who, who is using a flashlight? They're telling the reporters, who, who is pointing their flashlight at us? Now another chase here in Mongkok by the Raptors and the, and the and the riot police. They're they're holding one against the ground here, and they're telling the reporter, "Go away, reporter, go away." Huh? 
The, the, the police is yelling at the reporters to get back to the sidewalks. They're poop. Yeah, they're. This person against the ground. Kneeling against the wall. The, the report is saying that suddenly a large group of raptors came out and uh, started the arrest operation and chased them. The images we're seeing now are from Mongkok. We're also seeing images from Hong Ham and East Tim Sat Joy.
all the videos suddenly got really laggy. And we got disconnected for a few seconds, so now the delay is a little bit longer. EJ Kim, thank you so much. Guys, I'm reading a lot of your comments as well. I, I, I usually, when there's nothing like to translate on the screen, I try to read your comments. And I just want to say that all the people who are standing with Hong Kong and, and understanding what we're going through here, I just want to say thank you so much. We'll see a large group of riot police here in Yaomate. And the, and the young people here still forced to kneel down on front of, in front of the wall. You can see it's still happening going on here for over an hour. Ambulance personnel are bringing a stretcher over here. Bottom left. You can't see it yet, but... Yeah, they're bringing an amb and stretcher, the ambulance personnel. And we also hear the police yelling at, at the reporters to go away in another screen. That is not... that you can't see right now. A resident who came out to see here. Let me move the screen over. Here on the top right screen, a resident just came out of his house and the, the raptors are yelling at him to just... F off, go away. This person, this person here, just came out of the building and they're being they're harassing him.
J Margarita, thank you. J Margarita is telling everyone to please spread what's going on everywhere. Tell the world. Shout it. Tell the world about what you're witnessing. Thank you so much, J Margarita. Please, guys, help us. Help us to spread awareness around the world so we can all stop the CCP, the evil regime. And their, their puppet government, the Hong Kong government. And their, and their grunts. The Hong Kong police, they must all be, they must all face justice. Angie Catala think, says that this is happening right down at her building in Pitt Street. Please be careful and remember to tape windows to prevent the tear gas from coming in. Louis Williams, thank you for your concern. I believe I'm relatively safe. Uh, still scared, because I'm I'm in Hong Kong, so I'm still scared that like the police or someone is going to come from me. But um, I believe I'm safe. And uh, thank you so much for your concern. Sophia Rensing, thank you so much for pointing that out. That's great. It's great to see that more places are reporting on this. It makes me very happy, to be honest. Thank you, Sophia. People, people are asking the individuals, what are your names? What is your name? What is your name? They need to tell their names so that we know if they disappeared to find their families, find their lawyers and help them as much as they can when they ask for the names. I think that we're saying that the people of Hong Kong will like help you. You can see a lot of people gathered here. This is Pete Street. The report is saying that a group of people was taken away by the police. People are talking in the comments about someone who got pepper sprayed badly. I missed that and I sorry I didn't uh, narrate that. I was I was not looking at it when it happened. Okay, 
I think the reporter said, is there any first aid? Like asking for first aid volunteers. I heard she say, yeah, more first aid. Uh. The reporter is saying that she, she was pepper sprayed. The reporter from Apple Daily. So now the the first aid volunteers are helping her. And wait, we see here outside PolyU. Let me move the screen over there. Poly University here on the top left. Let's hear from here. So what I believe is happening is that they like negotiated uh, that the students will come out those who were under 18 years old can go back home uh, and if they find any evidence of them like uh, breaking the law they will uh, arrest them later on from their houses and those who are 18 years old and over 18 years old they're going to be arrested no matter what but the, they're supposedly they promised a fair treatment by the police and that the lawyers will be able to accompany them to the to the police stations so now we see people coming out in poly U. <coughs> i'm gonna repeat that one more time the information i have right now is that those under 18 years old will get their information their photos and they will uh, be sent back home and if they, the police found any evidence of them breaking the law, they're going to arrest them afterwards. And those who are over 18 years old, they will be arrested. And then, uh, but they promise to treat them fairly, and they will be allowed uh, the lawyers to go with them. Now I don't trust anything that the police says. They're asking. Uh, where do you come from? Where do you come from? Co come to the car. Go to the vehicle. This, this guy is yelling at this student. Asking him questions. But they should not reply to any question. The only thing they should say is no comments. I want to see my lawyer. No comments. They're asking things like, who are you? What are you doing? What are you doing?
有人條路啊，好唔好？後邊？唔該，中間，唔好車有車，快快轉過嚟，轉過嚟，轉過嚟，轉過嚟，Again, guys, the police is known to torture, beat up, sexually assault, and even rape people in during the detention centers and at the police stations. That's what the students fear the most. They don't fear having a criminal record or something like that. Their fear is being tortured and raped and maybe even killed while at the detention centers. Someone was asking how many casual fa fatal casualties we don't have official reports, of course, because the police is just making everything look like common suicides. But a fireman who has been working for over 10 years in Hong Kong, he reported that in the past few months, there has been more floating dead bodies found on the sea than in the last 10 years combined here in Hong Kong. The police is quickly to take these bodies, even though usually it was a, a, a task assigned to the firefighters to retrieve the dead bodies from the sea. The police are now doing it and quickly saying that those are just normal suicides and that there is nothing to investigate. Even, for example, in the case of the 15-year-old girl who was found naked in the sea. These people are found naked or most of them are wearing black clothes. Yet the police still say these are nothing but common cases of suicide. People found dead on the streets as well, naked, with legs chopped off, hands chopped off. The police also saying these are just regular suicides and that there is nothing to investigate. We know that the police is keeping the fatal the number of fatal casualties near zero in the official report by reporting every single victim as a suicide case when we know it's not the truth. Boris is asking any link to this fireman testimony. Yes, I do have. Please give me a second. I need to take it from the library where I saved this. Just give me one second. Here it is. I'll send you the link. But basically, let me play it so that you guys can hear. Talking about the few points about the amount of floating dead bodies found in Hong Kong.
thank you for your question. You're very welcome, Boris. Wait, we're hearing some bangs here. We see the... Here in Team Joy, the armored vehicle and some resistance still trying to fend it off with Molotovs. So guys, what I know about the latest in PolyU is that they negotiated with the police and uh, the police is going to take the, the information of the those under 18 years old, they're going to send them back home and if they find any evidence of them breaking the law, they're going to arrest them later on from their homes and those who are over 18 years old are going to be arrested, uh, but they were promised a fair treatment and... Um, that they will be able to go with the lawyers to the police detention detention centers. Now, I don't believe anything that the police says after all the lies and all the human rights violations they have committed. What's up, what Jesse Shea is saying in the comments is true. The police have arrested and handcuffed an 11-year-old in another occasion for carrying a laser pointer. They handcuffed him and took him away in a police vehicle, arrested an 11-year-old. 11, 11 However, the guy, the criminal who stabbed four people and beat someone's ear off like literally took a bite of someone's ear and spit it on the ground. That guy was not handcuffed, was not restrained. And then they did not charge him with attempted murder. They charged him with, what is it called? Like damage, damage to the, to the body or something like that. But it was not attempted murder what they charged him with. CLC Lam. Yes, also it's true. They disqualify elected legislative council members and candidates. And also some candidates were attacked by organized criminals who probably were hired by the government and the police.
Yeah, assault. I think that's what the charge was. Assault or or bodily harm, something like that. Also, I have personally witnessed when I was outside on the streets, I have personally witnessed the police protecting a man who used a cutter to cut, to cut someone's leg. The police came out to protect the man and pepper sprayed us. The, just the people who were around, the people who were trying to, to stop the man with the cutter. Daniel Carr, uh, the truth is that I am scared, to be completely honest, how couldn't I? After all, after all, I know the truth and I share it with everyone. So now we see like uh, the lawyers and those people like that came to negotiate, walking with the with the students. Why re sure thing. So guys, I'm going to show you one of the videos that I always show for those of you who haven't seen how the police treat actual criminals. Alright? The actual criminals are protected by the police. And there's so many videos about this, so many instances, and I even I have witnessed it personally. I will show this video first because I think it's the, the most clear one, but then I will show others. Here is uh, the video I'm talking about. Um, this one. Please take a look. They were beating up the reporters and the police just gently told them to go away. The reporters were saying, why don't you arrest them if they just attacked us? That was in front of the police. Kick him on the groin, then punch him. Then this guy comes to intervene. Punch on the face. Not only once, but twice. And then when someone tries to stop him, when someone tries to stop him, then the police comes to, to save his friend in the blue t-shirt. They hold him down for five seconds. But they, they did not arrest them. They just actually started to threaten all the people and reporters who were around. Threatening them with batons and tear and, and pepper spray. But they just protected the criminals, the actual criminals. And then they start to threaten the reporters and citizens. By the way, those are the Fuking gangsters. There is a province in China called the Fuking. And they come, they, there are a lot of them in near North Point in Fortress Hill. And they came out one night and were beating people everywhere without any accountability. Here is another case of something similar. This guy was being very aggressive but the police were just protecting him and then he even beat someone up with a chair on the head. Did you see that? There, with the chair directly on the head but he was seen by the police. Then they held him there for a few minutes 
and then they let him go and they did not arrest him. They stop and search him but then they just let him go. They did not arrest him. Look how he's going to beat a young man with a chair to the head. With those wooden chairs. This has been happening for f over five months. Police, the police collaborating with the gangsters to beat up, to, to torture, to rape, to kill the citizens of Hong Kong who are just asking for the democratic values to be respected. OG Paladin, I th I see you no ownage pranks. Sneaker pie, this low mode is killing me. Yes, I am so sorry. We need this low mode. Otherwise, is the the amount of work for the moderators makes it like impossible to to moderate actually. I am so sorry to have to have this uh, slow mode. Yux is asking, is there any indication of other protests firing up elsewhere in China right now, inspired and encouraged by the bravery of Hong Kong? From what I know, there is none because of the huge control over the information that the CCP has. So unfortunately, the people, whenever they try to protest, they get immediately stopped. They are not even able to organize or to spread the information of the truth of what is happening and the oppression they receive is brutal their crackdowns are, are they just go to your house and arrest you and you disappear just for sharing something about like if you share a post that is anti-government the police will go to your house and arrest you in China that's that's why we from around the free world who, st who still have the choice of voicing out what is really happening. I believe we have the responsibility to help those who can no longer express their feelings, voice out their, their how they're being oppressed by the government. Yes, we're witnessing how the people are coming out from PolyU. I'll repeat one more time. From my understanding, they negotiated the the minors, the ones under 18 years old, will be taking, they, the police will take their information, they're going to send them home, and if they find any evidence that they broke the law, they're going to be arrested from their homes later. But the people uh, who are 18, over 18 years old are going to be arrested, but they were promised to treat them fairly and they will let the lawyers to go with them. Now, as I usually say, I don't believe anything that the police says because of all the constant lies and human rights violations that they have committed. So in Mongkok, the police are showing the orange banner, meaning that they're going to fire projectiles like, like rubber-coated metal bullets, lead pellet bags, and other kind of projectiles.
The reporter was talking about someone who is not 18 years old yet, so they had to bring some family, like they were trying to find some family to take him. And here in Mongkok, the, the front still resisting the police brutality, the police violence, the police invasion. The reporter is now saying that in Argyle Street there was a loud bang, but the reporter is not sure what is going on. Hey Nigel, is it Nigel or Nigel? Thank you for your question. The reason why they put the, the bricks in these small structures I believe it seems that they work better to flat the tires of the vehicles or maybe it's harder for the police to kick them away because the police just comes and, and basically sweep the bricks out of the of the road but when they're placed like that uh, maybe it's harder for them I'm not 100% sure though For those who are still wondering what is happening in PolyU, from my understanding, the... Wait a second. So, from my understanding is that they negotiated the students who were inside Poly that are under 18 years old are going to be like taken to their homes after the police takes their information and if they find any evidence of them breaking the law they're going to arrest them later on from their houses those who are over 18 years old are going to be arrested anyway and uh the but the police promised to treat them fairly and to allow the lawyers to go however i don't believe any crap from the police because they have lied constantly on a daily basis and keep violating human rights. The police has zero, uh, uh, zero credibility. Hey Nigel, you're welcome. Nigel.
So now we're seeing images outside Poly and from Mongkok. Again, they are taking the students out. They negotiated. They will be arrested, but they promised a fair treatment and that the lawyers can go with them. Those under 18 will be allowed to go back home after their information is taken. And if they found any evidence of they are breaking the law, they're going to arrest them later on. Now, down here on this bottom left screen, we saw 68 individuals, some of them who were injured, kneeling in front of the wall while handcuffed for over an hour. Now it's been almost two hours. Now you see the firemen and the, and the ambulance personnel are taking the injured on stretchers. But the police held the people there kneeling in front of walls for over an hour, almost two hours. Hey JP2 Racing, thank you so much for your support and your help. Now the, the reporters are being told that they are interrupting. Wait, let's see. This is outside poly. Wait, let me let me mute from do I have any other source of audio? No, only here. They were just like saying how they're going to arrange and how they're going to bring the students in small groups. Alright, the reporter is explaining that the reporter is explaining Wait. they're going to take their identities they're going to uh, examine their belongings examine them and then they're going to be taken to uh, police stations Kaushuhao,在Molunhayati,呃, 
冇拘捕，就係需要登記身份咁樣。但係登記完身份之後，將來會唔會被抽號宣將啊？又或者係會唔會之後有上門拘捕嘅行動咁樣咧？咁全部都唔係講得好清楚。The reporter is saying that、uh, the principals and and other people came here, but、uh, like people were not happy with what is happening because even though there's some like taking down their information now. Um, and some of them will be released, but then they are probably going to get arrested anyway, and things like that. And like they didn't explain very clearly,、uh, like the whole thing. So, yeah. Fiona Wong, thank you so much for your support.、It、really means a lot. I'm not getting a lot of live streams right now. It seems that there is only like eight live streams available, at least from this site. Wait. So this is what I'm looking at right now. Sorry, I just got this video, and I was told to share it. This is the police. Kicking, kicking the, pe the people on the head. They were kicking this person on the head. Just all of them just wanted to kick him and brutally attack him. Were you able to see that? I believe you were able to see that. This is how the police are acting. The police are just doing a slow and silent Tiananmen Square. They're killing. 
They're slowly killing thousands of people. Wayuks. Unfortunately, even though there is a a large group that knows that knows the truth about the government and they access the internet with the VPN, unfortunately, there is a even larger group of people. I th I would think the big majority who are actually legitimately believing that the government cares about them, that the government is there to protect them and uh, that they live in the best country in the world and that they have then whatever the government does is always right Jason Yi Kai, thank you so much. Jason Yi Kai is saying, everyone, please understand how to protect yourself and how to escape. This is like a war. Uh, this is like a war, or else the front line will sacrifice to protect you. That's true, Jason Yi Kai. Indeed, I have seen some people that go, uh, go in some instances, but they they are they don't know how to to escape, or maybe they do not run. And freedom fighters, the frontliners, have been arrested trying to protect others. So if you're not confident of your running skills, for example, or if you're not sure how to escape or what to do in in a critical situation, please try to stay far beyond the, the lines, maybe try to help with supplies, try to help with scouting from, from behind, and um, be careful. Thank you, Jason, for your comment. I will send another video that I I would like everyone to witness. Please bear witness with me.
we clearly can see who are the criminals, who are breaking the law. That person was not offering any resistance but still gets beaten like this. When the people on the streets are fighting against this kind of police, is nothing but legitimate defense. What would you do if your country, your city, gets overtaken and ruled by terrorists? Will you just kneel down to them and let them do whatever they want to do? Dusty13b said, well, when you come out throwing firebombs and live with a few lumps on your head, I'd say you got off easy. You're not left off with few lumps in your head. You are left with brain damage, brain bleeding, broken limbs, and you're not left off. You're taking them to the police detention center when they keep torturing you for 48 hours. And in some cases, even raping you. So you're not left off. And to begin with, those those firebombs you're saying, the, 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 the Molotovs, those are used defensively against the police who have been overtaking the city with brutality for months already. People were getting beaten up and tortured way before anyone was throwing any Molotov. Let, uh, before I continue, I really want to show you a video. I think it's very important that we show this video every day. Every time. And you have to spread it. Here, just find on YouTube. Guys, find this on YouTube. Uyghur drone. So that you understand the, what we're talking about. What we're dealing here. What we're dealing with. Give me a second. Just want you to focus on this for one minute. This is the enemy we're talking about. This is the CCP who is pulling the strings in Hong Kong. The video you're watching right now is showing the Uyghurs. This is drone footage that was leaked. These are people who are being taken to concentration camps. They're handcuffed. Their heads are sh freshly shaved, shackles and chained to one another. They have vests with numbers. These people have their own, their own language, their own culture, their own religion, their own ethnicity. But the CCP is saying, no, you guys are Chinese, but you are not really Chinese. But we are going to say that you're Chinese and we're going to take you to concentration camps where we're going to brainwash you, torture you, rape you, harvest your organs and kill you. 
and your children will be brainwashed as well and our officials and officers will sleep with your wives every day while you're in the detention camps yet there's still people that they not believe the atrocities that are being committed and hidden So whenever you see a comment of the 50 cents saying that no, it is good, the CCP is good, or, or Lucas is lying, there is evidence all over the place, please look for it, and don't believe any bullshit said by the 50 cents, please. Unfortunately, my biggest fear is the misinformation, and that people are going to fall victims of the misinformation and the 50 cents, the 50 cents campaign. He's saying that they're, they're, they're just going to take them to the police station. He's saying that he saw a lot of people from secondary schools and a lot of people. He saw a lot of people. He's saying that the situation is quite good. Guys, can I, I, I do you mind that I don't listen to this guy talking? Uh, uh, right now, the report is saying that the uh, Taiyok Seng, what is the Taiyok Seng? Uh, they're bringing out another group of people away. Here, bottom left. Oh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it. 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 We're going
都都都,都想做。係咪校方主動向警方提出而家呢個個案？啊！呢啲當然我哋我哋係自己提出嚟嘅。咁咁，佢哋講嘅。You propose the current、uh, deal with the police. He said yes. We、uh, we originally proposed this deal.、Uh, the police yesterday said that they, they allow us to do this.、Uh, I feel his accent is very weird for some reason. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't want to listen to him. I am sorry. I don't think what he's saying right now is is important. I think like. Sorry, guys. I think I should be translated what he's saying. So basically, he was talking about like. Uh, he thinks it's a good situation. He saw a lot of people coming out to help, and that this、uh, this deal was arranged by by them and、uh, with the police. And、uh, he was very happy. And I hate him.、Uh, sorry, the last part is just personal opinion. The police are breaking all the the, the glass bottles. They're breaking all the umbrellas, all the glass bottles. They're breaking everything.、Uh, and they usually like when they find like boxes with water and food that belongs to the freedom fighters. They just poured out all the water. They break all the food, all the medicine. Sometimes they steal it and take it for themselves.
Now I hear the police yelling, take out your identity cards, take out your identity cards. By the way, the guy who was talking about earlier that I said that I hate, he's the guy from Poly, the, from the Poly U. I think he's like the president, how you call that? President principal of Poly. He was, when the students were in the biggest crisis, he just submitted a video talking, telling the students to surrender, surrender to the police. And he has seemed very happy the whole time. And he's just like cooperating with the police, even though everybody knows that the police does not respect the rules. The police is breaking the law and violating human rights. And he did not seem concerned about his students at all. I'm reading from the Hong Kong Free Press. Pro Beijing lawmaker Michael Tian has been allowed by police into PolyU to speak to the students. However, social media channels estimate that around 200 still refuse to leave. Li Lao Shi is saying that the president of PolyU refused to shake hands with any student who wore a mask at the graduation ceremony. Thank you, Li Lao Shi, for uh, telling us that. I don't know who the person in the white vest is. Let me try to get, like, take a listen of what they're saying. Is that the same? Is that the same guy in another occasion? I can't see clearly.
動咯，咁我咪要坐監咯。你根本到時冇法官點審啫，所以而家啱啱做解釋。咁但係你同我講話，我聽埋聲機，咁咪即係認認證認咗我係貪污。By the way, guys, just want to point out something. Um, I control the audio that you get and the audio I get uh, differently. So usually you hear the, au the audio from the stream lower than my voice. But I'm wearing earphones and uh, I have to play the audio so that I can hear it over my voice. Otherwise, I can't hear... Uh, as I speak and it makes it impossible for me to translate so yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that sometimes I like I lower the volume because hearing everything in my head so so loudly sometimes drives me crazy just wanted to let you know sometimes I try to avoid like very noisy channels And also, I see a lot of discussion about the 50 cents. I need to explain one more time. Wait, let me see. Just people talking. Yeah, they're, they're talking about the people who are being brought outside. Uh, I wanted to explain what the 50 cents are. They're also called Wu Mao. They're basically social movements, especially when they're against China. Uh, you will see them like posting uh, comments like uh, the protesters are rioters, they're evil, the good work Hong Kong police kill them all. They will also post fake information saying like uh, the protesters are killing people. Uh, they will try to like uh, uh, also spread fake uh, Chinese propaganda and things like that. They sometimes also pretend to have Western user accounts. So they will use names like John Smith or, or things like that. They will use fake profile pictures and post uh, like post comments like anecdotes saying like I was on the street in Hong Kong as a tourist and I got beaten up by the protesters just for having a different opinion and things like that so please pay attention to the 50 cents I believe the Russia the, the there is also that like the Russian trolls that uh, me try to me misinform the audiences in social medias and of course how can you not expect a government which has over one million people in concentration camps to not use these kind of methods to manipulate public opinion Again, for everyone who uh, just joined, what we're seeing in PolyU after f yesterday was sieged by the police. The police stormed in, arrested, brutally arrested people, dragged them, beat them up, and shot at them inside the campus. And then the police, in the press conference, said that the police did not go inside the police stations. You can see how the high ranks of the police are blatantly lying at the public they're just they're just full of crap sorry that i put it that way they're just full of crap and they're just pretending that things that are happening are not happening and now tonight we are seeing the students being taken out 
those from my understanding those who are over 18 years old are being arrested no matter what but they were promised a fair treatment quote unquote and that the lawyers will be allowed to follow them and those who were under 18 years old will be they, they will take their information and they will be sent back home but later on they might arrest them Ash H is asking if the Chinese government is so oppressive how can they protest for more than five months so you have to understand that Hong Kong originally is not the same as China China the CCP is pulling the strings behind the Hong Kong government and fortunately for us in Hong Kong we have so much international media companies and people living here that it makes it very hard for them to do something brutal immediately right away like for example killing thousands on the street like what they did in Tiananmen Square so they are doing it very slowly and behind the scenes inside the detention centers they're doing it very slowly because otherwise the international backlash would be too too much for them too much of an inconvenience for them that's why the protests have been lasting for so long and the people of Hong Kong even though there are people disappearing people appearing dead all over the place more people found dead floating on the sea in the past few months than in the last 10 years people are still coming out because they have tasted freedom and once that you have tasted freedom and someone tries to take it away from you you are going to fight like your life depended on it Sorry guys, I I was typing careful earphone users because the volume was suddenly so high I'm afraid I would damage some people's ears. Like some channels have the volume really low, some of them have it really loud and I just don't want anyone to to suffer from their ears. Yes, I have seen the reports as well saying that there are estimates of around 200 people still inside PolyU. Just gonna hide some news here and here. And um,
Is Noam, Noam Chinaski still here? Guys, right now I'm showing you all the all the live streams I have available. All the live streams I can show you are on the screen right now. And uh, I believe these are from PolyU. Showing the people that are being taken us outside and that they are going to be arrested. I hope the best for them. That they actually get treated fairly and that they are not tortured inside the police detention centers like so many other times have occurred already. Matteo Tonelotto is saying before the agreement reports were 400 in poly now only 200 how many escape how many surrender yes I am not sure either I also saw that but I recently saw a post by the Hong Kong Free Press saying that the estimates on social media says that there is still 200 people inside refusing to leave maybe um, it's not counting the, per the people who went already outside uh, some of them might have escaped somehow i saw a video of some people going down a bridge uh through some ropes i don't know if that video is related but i hope that we can get the um, the correct numbers and that they will match up very soon Noam Chinaski, welcome to the team. Hey guys. Before I continue, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining this live stream and witnessing with us what is happening here in Hong Kong. I also want to say thank you to all the contributors who are supporting me and my work. Emmanuel Frost, thank you so much. Mike Chan, thank you. Reen321, thank you so much. Jason Yikai, Fiona Wong, JP2 Racing. Linda G, thank you all so much. J Margarita, EJ Kim, Andy BBL, Yux, Alan Lee, thank you. Toto Volador Luna, Pui Hei Yip, Kaho123, Lok Yu Cherung, NTN, thank you. Barbara Smith, Lester Chick, USC Bruin, thank you so much. Ching Bays, Batis Lean, The Mind Readers, thank you so much. Justin C. Carlos O. J. O. Young, Leo Augustus, thank you all so much. Becky Scarlett, Tono Eric, Ariethelene Benach, Zach McGillem, Richard Liu, thank you all so much. Lee Hatta, Andres Novotny, Maza Mimura. Justin C, Com 818Y, Asher, Zerana, Peter Gao, Marcelo Arojo, EJ Kim, oh yeah, like again, Vienny Dennis, Tony Chen, thank you so much, Niels Christian Truth, Christen, Christensen, Christensen, Ivan Hinton, KFC, thank you so much. Oh my god guys your your support is overwhelming. Thank you so much. EY Co, Two Souls, YJ, Umberto Cueva de la O, 
Guats, Sparkso, Lamb Fox, and Tack. All of you, thank you so much for your contributions and your support. You guys are awesome. You're wonderful and you're allowing me to do this. Spending most of my time on this. And also the people who are supporting me on Patreon and through PayPal, thank you so much. You don't know how much your contributions and your support means to me. Since they are allowing me to dedicate myself solely in doing this. A lot of people ask me what I am going to do with the money. So the money, I I don't mind sharing with you what I do with the money. I use it to pay the rent, buy food and transportation, pay the bills. And uh, I save some of it. And uh, what is what is left, I use it to, to help the protesters, to help the movement, to help the victims. Yeah, that's what I do with the money. And right now, my only source of income are the contributions by the people, by these very generous donators who are helping me. Thank you so much. Max Smith, thank you so much. I'm sorry I forgot you. Everyone in PayPal, thank you so much. Why I don't give shout outs to people who contribute through me to PayPal and thanks publicly here is because uh, there it shows me your real names and I don't want to use your real names in public but all of you thank you so much Cyrus Chan thank you so much as well Kim Chen, yes, Kim Chen is telling everyone to please send letters to your government telling them what is going on and denouncing the human rights violation that have been occurring and are still occurring in Hong Kong and in China. We have to let the world know the truth behind China's mask. And by China, I mean the CCP, guys. So one more time guys, after days of siege to the universities here in Hong Kong and now especially the Polytechnic University where students were holding the line bravely and ferociously for, for hours, days, the police this morning at 5.30 a.m. stormed inside the campus and brutally attacked the students. Then they left. Then the police in the press conference says that no police went inside the campus, which is a, an outrageous lie that we have seen the videos of them going inside the campus, throwing students down the staircase, beating people, kicking them on their face, pepper spraying and shooting at them from close range. And now this, this evening, even though people, over 100,000 people came to the streets to try to save the students from poly, to try to distract the police who were surrounding the campus so that the students could escape to safety. After so many people were trying to get supplies to the students, food, water and medicine. But at the end, the police overwhelmed the people in the university campus. Some principals and some other staff and other people 
uh, negotiated with the police, those under 18 years old will be will have their information taken by the police, and they will go home. But the police will might arrest them later on, and those who are 18 years old or more, like or older than 18 years old, are going to be arrested. They are going to be arrested and taken to the detention centers and police stations. The police promised a fair treatment to them and that the lawyers could go with them. But I don't believe anything that the police is saying in Hong Kong. The police have, if the police have proven one thing to us, is that they will always lie and they have been violating human rights non-stop without any kind of accountability. And yes, there's still a lot of students within the campus. Helen Lam, thank you so much. Helen Lam said, Hi Lucas, thanks for coming out to the prayer meeting at Chatter Garden. Much appreciated. You have encouraged many of us to keep going and never give up. Thank you so much, Helen Lam. I am so happy that I was invited and able to share with you. And I hope that uh, you and your friends and everyone else can help spread the truth as well with me to the people around the world. Thank you, Helen. CLC Lamb is saying people have to line up and have their ID checked before heading home or getting on the police vehicles. Uh, yes, those who are under 18 years old get their, their backs and their bodies checked. They get their IDs checked. They, get, they take pictures of them and then they are allowed to go back home. And those who are 18 years old or more, they are the same procedure, but then they're, going take, they're taken to the police stations. Battle King saying, okay, I'm off, brothers and sisters. Ty typhoon coming over my area in a few hours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Battle King. Stay safe. Be careful with Typhoon, and we'll see you next time. Flipper, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Max Smith, that sounds like a good idea. I am going, guys, I'm a quickly going to boil some water so I can make a cup of instant coffee and I'll be right back, all right? And um, thank you all so much for staying here and supporting us. You are awesome.
Do you see how these guys smiling? Sorry, it, ma it makes me sick to hear him talk. Now I want to talk a little bit about the th torches used by the police. The police has arrested and actually children I mean child what I mean by children is people are than under 18 years old have been convicted for carrying lasers wait let me translate what this report is saying they are waiting for the police the, the reporter said that the people here are waiting for the police vehicles to arrive and take them away and uh, the report saying that these two young people who were arrested there were taken away already. Alright, what I was talking about, those torches, the, the flashlights you see the police using, they have arrested many people. Wait. Uh, the report saying that someone asked loudly to the people who were arrested by that group of riot police to to yell out their names and they changed to another reporter All right one more try Many people, young people, have been arrested and in some cases convicted for carrying lasers. The police charged these people with the quote-unquote use of offensive weapon against police officers. Lasers, point, la like, po laser pointers that I used to play with my cat. However, the, pol the, la the flashlights that the police use are classified as white lasers and the manufacturer the manufacturer instructions says strictly not to be pointed at people's faces because of the potential damage on people's eyesight now the police has face shields goggles reflective tapes that make them immune to any damage from the lasers however the people of hong kong who are on the streets and the reporters do not and the police there is i believe that we can tell that there is over i don't know 10,000 cases or even more the numbers is just uncountable so many instances where the police are pointing those flashlights directly at people's faces people's eyes and hurting their eyesight but none of them get any accountability the report is now saying that uh, these are the over 18 years old who are being uh, handcuffed and taken to the police vehicles to be taken to the police stations. Yawala,就是hanging the reporter is saying that uh, some officers are also like blaming them and like scolding them like I heard that the one of the police terrorists were telling them like 
You should not be destroying things and things like that. The the police that I mean the reporter is saying that here in in Polyu, the Polytechnic University, this has been going on for like almost three days. Okay,其實剛才一直都有一些政務議員、高層 And yeah, sorry, I missed what he was saying. But he, yeah, he's describing. Right now, the people you see here, I will go say one more time. The people you see here, wait. Oh, the report is saying that now he's going to end the the live stream here, and uh, like asking people to stay tuned to their to their website so that if they start any other live stream you can see uh, but basically those were the people over 18 years old who are handcuffed and uh, they are ready to take them to the police stations and hopefully there will not be more victims of torture and rape inside the police stations <sighs> All right. I'll try my best, I promise. Damn it. He's saying that tonight there was a lot of high school principals, uh, social workers, and other people who came to Polytechnic University. The, like a hundred people that came here to to accompany the 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 young people to go away. They told them that they have to be very clear of what they were going to face after going out. After they go out, they will be arrested. They knew it. Yet, what Alright, he said, when they walked out, we accompanied them to ensure that they were safe. To ensure their safety. He's saying when the police were handcuffing them, the they the police were will not uh, be violent to them. Uh, two of them were sick with fever. And one of them had a injury in their feet, and that uh, they deal with the police to bring them to the hospital. 
And also in the police station, there will be a group of uh, school principals uh, accompanying them in the police stations to like make sure they are safe. Uh, he's saying that a lot of people who, when they came here to the university, did not uh, think of an outcome like this. Uh, but so now that they came out and they are being arrested, they are very concerned, uh, very emotional. And they, were, they didn't think that they were like, go through this. So we have to tell them now you if you go now is uh the best so uh, the base i think the best scenario so that you can be safe we'll assure ensure your safety if you stay here we don't know what is going to happen for sure Uh, but there is still a large group that after we talk with them, they have decided to stay here. He's saying that also about people who stay here, decide to stay here, if they later decide, decide to go away peacefully, if they put away all the weapons and go away peacefully later on, the police also has promised to not arrest them violently and not attack them. And so he hopes that everyone will be relaxed. The, now he's explaining. Under 18 years old, are, they, take that, they, they write down their information and they go back home. But over 18 years old will will be arrested. Yes, they will be immediately arrested over 18 years old. The reason for arresting is not uh, something that we manage. Uh, that he's saying that uh, the police also needs to have enough evidence and then they can do Something. He's saying that about a half of the people that they took out are under 18 years old. Mark LZD exactly, that's what they're saying. Saying that a lot of young children here were 
were very scared and they wanted to go away, but they were very scared that that the police were not leaving any road for them to leave away, to go away. When they were trying to go away, the police were using tear gas immediately. So he talked with the police. The police said if the people here who were protesting, if they leave peacefully, the police will agree to, to behave like that. But we also talked with the police, asked them, if, can we let them go away peacefully and leave it at that? The police said no. So they must arrest them. But I think now he's talking about the conviction. After they arrest them, if they convict, convict, convince, convict, if they like, they have to go to trial afterwards. I think that's what they're talking about right now. He was replying to his question, but I couldn't hear the question. So I couldn't. The reply was yes, we have talking with them, they know, but I couldn't hear the question. Uh, so he's talking about the people who decided to stay here. They they told them that the people who agreed to go with them, they have to go now with them. But uh, there is a large group who decided to stay here. They 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 repeat. If they decide to go away later, they can still do it. He's saying that so basically he didn't actually came over here he was trying to agree deal all this from a distance but the, the students uh, did not agree because he said okay we are going to let the police open a road for you to go away but the students said no way no way you have to be here we have to be next to you so then only only then he decided to come over to the university. <sighs> and we survived through that all right guys there's more videos popping out popping up my phrasal verbs are not that good Oh, 
琴日已經搞到今朝六點，跟住瞓瞓緊到瞓緊到黃朝八晏，連雲台都冇買。跟住而家有咁嘢。The reporter saying that 好明顯俾阿中立中立擺鳩咗上台啦，呢王。The reporter here saying that uh he's some people uh someone's going to scold him. He stayed so late last night, and even now he's staying up so late. 我平時唔知啊。到咗而家呢一個鐘數 ，just some casual talk from the reporter， and here they continue to to search everyone。the guy with the helmet in the back is recording all the belongings inside the people's bag。inside people's bags， they're also recording their faces， taking writing down all their information， and then they're going to be taken to the police stations。Leftover crumbs. I don't see. I don't see Death Rider as someone in the. In the ban list, I cannot. Please um. Make sure that the name is correct. Uh, again, guys, this is poly you people. Some students agree to come out. Basically, what someone said in the comments is such a, an accurate description. The police and these guys basically uh, negotiated. Come out now, and we're not going to beat you in public. Or come out later, and we're going to beat you half death, and then we're going to arrest you. So come out now, and we arrest you now. Or come out later, we beat you half death, and we still arrest you. And um, the guy here on the top left said that m around half of the students decided to stay at school, anyways. Brian Tam, yes, I know that guy here. Brian Tam is saying the guy speaking now, Jasper Tang. Is not a friend of freedom fighters either. He's also very pro CCP and hurt the freedom of Hong Kong a lot. I know, and that's what I didn't actually want to listen. I, I felt very sick while listening. Thank you, Brian Tam. Matteo Tonelodo is asking: The press isn't allowed at police stations. Unfortunately, they are not allowed inside police stations, and the police did not reveal any details, any CCTV footage from the police stations. Even when people are claiming to be tortured, to be raped.
Momo. Sorry guys, I was... I just wandered... Wandered out... Mike Austamano Lackeys is asking how do you learn Cantonese? Is it your mother tongue? If you have answer already... Oh. So, I came to Hong Kong when I was in high school as an exchange student and that year I was very fascinated by Cantonese and I really wanted to talk with people like locally, like you know, in their own language. So I decided to learn and I and I tried my best. I was an exchange student and I failed math, history, science. I failed everything because I was spending all my time just trying to learn Cantonese. And let me tell you, it was worth it. And then I, I, ca I came again to Hong Kong later like to keep studying and work and everything. And, and just by being here and being able to speak with people, I was able to learn Cantonese. My mother tongue is actually Spanish since I was born and raised in Chile. And um, I, learned, I learned English with video games. So English is my second language, Cantonese is my third language. Thank you for your question. Gobi saying your mic is on. Oh yeah, I, I noticed. I noticed after a while that my microphone was on. AAA saying, do you have any idea why a police tape is being put up and where generally we indicate serious injury or death? Yeah, that's true. Now that you mention it, this this looks like Moncock. This looks like Moncock. Nathan wrote. Okay, uh, no thing is safe. Wait, the report. Okay, no the, the reporter is talking about safety. Very recommend using the road map. Uh, I hope Maybe because of safety concerns, I'm not sure what I couldn't get all he was saying. Maybe Wait, he's saying that he cannot go through. So I think they put the cordon so that people cannot go through the, the reporters. The reporter is saying, but he's seeing citizens beyond the police cordon. He's saying it's, it's, it's fucking miracle, uh, miraculous. I don't know why the, the, the residents can be, be with, within the cordon. But not us reporters. And uh, now the, the report is saying that the police is threatening some residents, asking them, why are you not at home? Stay at home and things like that. There's someone yell, why are you beating up the citizens? He's, he's trying, he says he's going to try to get another angle to let us see. Seven said, I worry for the arrested ones. They cannot beat to show wait, they cannot beat to show bruises or scars. They will torture them horribly horribly in other ways once they are detained behind closed doors. The police are insane. Yes, and he's very sad, Seven. Thank you for pointing that out. Eight nine six four. 
uh, don't neglect Momo. Yeah, I will play with her um, as soon as the live stream is over. The report is saying that a lot of residents is going over there. Uh, she said probably the popo, and he literally said popo, are uh, going crazy one more time. Cosmo Galli, any tips on learning Cantonese? Just tell everyone that you don't know English when you're in Hong Kong and that they have to talk to you in Cantonese. The reason why people can... It's so hard to learn Cantonese in Hong Kong is because almost everyone knows English. So it's not necessary for people to speak Cantonese to survive. Like in other places like Japan or... Or I don't know other places where not everyone can like uh, easily speak English, or like so when you go to other countries, it's usually easy to to learn their mother tongue. Ignacio says, "How long did it take you to learn Cantonese?" And right now I'm not translating everything he's saying because he's talking a lot of things that are not related. Uh, he's talking to his audience on his live stream. Um, Ignacio, how long did it take me to learn Cantonese? Uh, I was able to have basic conversations like after six months. I was having my first dreams in Cantonese after six months as well. Fer Fernanda Vale, hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muchas gracias. Jules Butters, do you also cover Chilean protests? I do cover some of um, some of it. I also post a lot of things about the Chilean protests in my channel. In I mean, in my Instagram account. I have other videos talking about why the people in Chile are protesting. And uh, it's n a lot of people think that it's because of a raise in the train prices, but it's not the case. But it's actually because of 30 years of oppression of the elites towards the big majority of the population in Chile. And that's why the people had enough and uh, came out to... Wait. The reporter is saying, uh, the, the vehicles of the crazy popo are coming towards me. Are they going to crash me and run over me with their vehicles? Uh, I'm so scared, he said with a like jokingly, jokingly tone. This guy is for, f by the way, he's a satire reporter. So he uses a lot of comedy while reporting. Rick B is asking, have you followed the protest in Chile? What is your opinion on them? The people of Chile have my support. And um, wait, the report is saying that here are... I'm sorry, guys, I'm mixing things up, but... The police are also now sending a police cordon over here. He's saying it's very common because they don't want to let people see inside what is going on in the reality. He's saying that there is still 4,300 people watching his live stream, so he's very happy. Yeah, he, he's talking with his audience as well. Rick B asked, what is my opinion on the protests in Chile if I have followed them? Yes, I have followed them. My opinion in the protest in Chile is that the people was tired of being bullied by the government and by the elites. It's not acceptable that 1% of the people owns more than the 30% more, more poor and 10% of the people owns what the 60% of the poorest own. Let me put that again. I think I said it incorrectly. 1% of the people, the richest 1% owns the th what the 30% of the poorest people own. 
the 10% of the richest in Chile own what the 60% of the poorest in Chile own. The waters are private in Chile. I think it's the only country in the world with totally private waters. The education system is a joke. The public health system is a joke. And, for example, the Minister of Health in Chile, the appointed Minister of Health, is... Um, he was expelled from the medical school for lacks of ethics. He he falsely, he falsely. Uh, so basically, there were like thirty thousand people in waiting list waiting to have medical treatment, and this minister of health, uh, like, reported that they had already received treatment. But it was a lie and left over 30,000 people without access to medical treatment. He stole millions of dollars from resources that were supposed to be destined to public hospitals and re, uh, redirected those resources to, to private hospitals. The pension systems, people are losing money when with the money that goes to the pension systems are being lost by the people even though the the pension companies are the most profitable companies in the countries they have huge income margins but still people are losing money that goes to the 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 pension systems in chile and everything is made to protect the rich which is the same are like the politicians and, and the rich people are all the same so yeah, sorry, I was talking about Chile and, and, and the protests and also the, the police brutality and the army brutality in Chile is absolutely disgusting. Just like in Hong Kong, the police in Chile are killing, torturing and raping people. And they are having not, they're not being held accountable enough for their actions. I think it's the same place that they're trying to cover up. Uh, Go be sent a link, guys. Please check the link. Let me try to open it and show it to everyone. But I think it's where they were like detaining 68 people and making them kneeling, kneel down for like uh, over an hour. Wait, Gobi sent this message on Twitter. The white vans of po the police ran into the protesting crowd and caused a stampeding accident which led to numerous injuries. That's what that was not a dispersing strategy. That's purely vengeful venge vengeful assault. Oh my god. This uh, graphic content warning. Wait, what? They're just rushing. They're just rushing over the crowds. The people who are describing the events are saying, yes, they're running over the crowds. I think that's the place they are covering. Yes, I think you're right. Good guy. Unfortunately, I cannot show RTHK's video. I am so sorry. But guys, please feel free to check RTHK's live stream. Kim Chen is saying again, Hong Kongers, if you are in Mong Kok, Jordan area, don't use Nathan Road. Take Shanghai Street to go to Team Sat Joy. 
uh, to support the front line. If you have a car, then go Canton Road for pickup. Bring your mask. I'm sharing now, right now I'm sharing the link of the vans. Denise Wong is asking, what do you think about the Chilean and Hong Kong police? Which one is worse? Let me reply to that with a, with a Cantonese saying, The crowds under the sky are all black. Basically means what I'm trying to say that the police in Chile and the police in Hong Kong, they're both evil. They ha might have different approaches, but what they're doing at the end is the same, and they are both disgusting, and they both need to face justice and rot in jail for all they have done. Meg Smith, you have double heartache for Chile and Hong Kong. Indeed, is is very tough. Bernard, Bernard Postma, it's my pleasure to cover this, to let the, the world know what is happening. I'm just very happy to see that people are actually paying attention and, and even the people who are supporting Hong Kong and standing with, with, with us, it just makes me feel hopeful, you know, thank you so much. Boy Melon is saying, so you think the world without police is better? I think the police, I think police are great. I think police that are terrorists with police uniforms need to go to jail. All right. Don't get me wrong. There is some police in this world who do indeed do a good job of serving the people. And those I call police officers and I respect them. But unfortunately, and in too many cases around the world, the police get addicted to their power and they use it to oppress the people. And fortunately, in some countries, those, those police officers who abuse their power get accountable for their actions and they get sent to jail. But not so fortunately in other, in so, in other countries, the police can freely act like terrorists and have not any kind of accountability for act, for that Curtis is asking do you live in Hong Kong yes I live in Hong Kong Hong T thanks to you for being here and, and for your support it's my pleasure to help
Cash Lupe is asking, does the Triad members infiltrate the Hong Kong police or was it always so? What I believe is that the police, those who become police originally were like gangsters and triad members and then they joined the police like through like the legitimate way. They apply to be police members because they know that they have more power and, and they get very well paid and they can do whatever they want and they protect. That's why we see them always talking with the triad gangsters, shaking hands, laughing, uh, smoking with them because they originally were coming from those groups of people, the triads and the gangsters. So basically they are gangsters, but they are also police. Alright guys, I think... I think things are coming to an end right now and uh, I will go soon so that I can have more energy tomorrow to cover any events. Um, but thank you all so much for staying here. Thank you all so much for your support, for your participation and a special thanks to the contributors who have been so generous helping me and and for all your support and help you to the mo thank you to the moderators for for all you do and helping us in the live chat. I didn't say thank you to Blackbird. Thank you so much for your contribution. Blackbird said in his comment, how do you keep safe and the cops from bashing your door down for streaming? Goddamn government, be safe, brother. Blackbird, I actually do fear this. I am indeed afraid that they're going to one day just jump in. Hopefully, if that happens, I will be live streaming and we will have more evidence of how the police is targeting people who are trying to spread truth. Uh, I have always a camera ready to start live streaming if someone starts bashing on my door. Thank you so much, Blackbeard. Claudio Cervantes. It's not much, but keep doing this. Stay strong, Hong Kong. Claudio Cervantes, thank you so much for your contribution and for your help and your support. I really appreciate it. And also you, my friend, stay safe, all right? Tom Klein, thank you so much. I will keep doing my best. Thank you so, so much. Also, Gain Darcy, thank you so much for your contribution. Guys, thank you so much. Fernanda Vale, buenas noches. Hasta la mañana. Thank you so much, Fernanda. Thank you, everyone else. I am going to finish the live stream now but please join our discord server so that you can keep receiving news and chatting with people discussing what is going on in hong kong we have many channels we have channels in different languages so thank you so much ntn thank you so much dz85 thank you so much canis tang thank you so much you did an interview with local news about this. That's awesome. Thank you so much for spreading the word. Unbek Unbekanter. Ubek how do you read that? Unbekanter. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Babu, thank you for being here. Fernanda again, thank you. Jonko Piet. And Reeve, Jeffrey Cheen, everyone, Alex Jensen, Jumbo Joffer, thank you all so much, Max Nix, thank you so much, Tanja Bajorek, we will protest until the 4,000 protesters are free, thank you so much. Let me tell you that by no means I intend on ending my own life. Alright, so thank you guys, stay safe, stay hydrated. And I will see you all very soon in another live stream. 
Thank you so much. Good night, guys. You're all wonderful. Adios.